Right, hi guys, welcome to the Friday afternoon painting stream uh, here at Modifius. I'm Reese. I'm Jono. Um, I thought we, we better, for those of you who weren't here last week, we better just go over what we're doing yep. um, and why we're doing it and why we've, we've made certain choices to the figures that we're doing. So, Jono, do you want to talk us through your super mutants? Sure. Can. So, uh, in a couple of weeks' time, we're gonna, me and Reese are gonna be having a little battle, a little Indeed. skirmish. It'll be my first proper game of Fallout. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I've written a special campaign, a special campaign scenario just for this, just to um, enhance the narrative experience of this situation. So we've each, um, I've given Reese um, an army to build. Yep. Um, and I'm myself, I've been given the super mutant. So I've got myself some nice, uh, I've got some hounds, got some suiciders, and I've got a very special hammer, which I'll be showing next week. But um, this week I'm be focusing on my finishing off my mutant hound, which I started on last week. So if we go out to the little camera, you can see one of those bad boys there. Indeed, yeah, they come up really well. You've done a bit, you did a bit more to them. You had a few more washes to them, didn't you? In the yeah. week, yeah, that's so cool. So added a little bit to them, so they come out a really nice sort of dark red. Come out really well. They've oh, come up. I'm they've come up really well. It's such a it's such an easy and simple technique to do. Yep, just a xenophore um, highlight with uh, with the. Uh, uh, with white spray over, but yeah, and it was from a rattle can. It wasn't from a, a airbrush or anything. It was literally yeah. rattle can. Rattle uh, can. Army painter. Army, painter, yeah, yeah. army yeah. painter. Yeah, yeah. We do like army painter. We yeah. do, yeah. And, and then their paints. during the week, I just uh, did the same to my suicide So they have a base skin tone. So you see on the back, they're kind of like purpley color. Yep. Again. And then if we spin them around uh, again, that, that purple color scheme has come up. Now, some people might be thinking, why, why purple and why, why red dogs? Do you know they're not the proper colors? Well, <laughs> you see, Reese came to me and he was like, I've got this idea for an army. I kind of want to make it a bit like kind of commandos wearing kind of these big overhauling suits with yeah. clamps. Yeah. And I was like, I see where you're coming from. Yep. I'm going to try and do something quite similar to but fit, in with, my to fit in with the scheme. So let's see if anyone can guess it this week. So yeah, 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 exactly. So yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm doing um, a small brotherhood um, uh, gang. Uh, so I've literally just I've gone for all power armor. Uh, uh, last week I started, I was, um, I'd started on just doing the base coats. Yep. Uh, I shall chuck one down. One I, that's the one I guy was working on last there week. We go. Here we go. Stick him on there. Oh, he's looking good. So yeah, again, that was it, that was a really simple paint job. That was just uh, army paint and a bone spray. Yep. Uh, and then I've used Games Workshop's Cassandori yellow wash straight over the top, and that's it. I've not done any highlighting on these yet. Um, but it just gives you a nearly really nice rich yellow. Uh, does a lot of the shading for you. Yeah. Uh, and also gives you it shows you where you can then go back and, and re highlight. Um, now the yellow, because the, the idea is obviously the battle suits uh, are from the military, yep. and not all military vehicles are uh, meant for war. That's true. They are they they need they need things like forklift trucks and yep. and, and, and tankers and that kind of thing in their support vehicles. So these are kind of, this 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 sort of faction of Brotherhood have found these suits, but they're all like the haulage suits. <laughs> yeah. They're all like the. Um, you know the auxiliary vehicles, yep. for want of a better term. So I'm giving them a kind of yellow JCB Caterpillar style paint scheme. There'll be some uh, copious amounts of uh, black hazard striping. Yep. Excellent. Uh, and I want to give all clamps because I want to make them all look like forklifts. And again, the clamps, uh, especially this guy, I'll put him down on, on the close. And this this guy should hopefully give you an idea of where we're going. Yeah. Uh, theme wise. So so yeah. So so in the week I um, carried on. I finished. I finished off and modded up. All my figures. Um, I'll try and get them on. See if we can see them. You might not be able to see them all, um, but definitely get a good selection. Get a good idea of what they are. So yeah, I modded all those up in the week, and I've given them the the um, undercoat, and I've given them uh, the wash ready for today, yep. so I can actually can continue uh, and paint them today. And I've just got one more to finish off. He just needs his pipes it's around nice. the back, so yeah. I haven't done that. I'm also doing a barricade as well in the same colour scheme, just yep. to tie it in again. And also to show people that you can tie in your scenery to your faction. Yeah, that's looking great. Yeah, yeah, so you did really well on the rusting of that. I did that really, yeah, again, I, did, I mean, I, I'm going to work more on that. Uh, that was just a quick one to show people how you get going yeah. on it. So I will work more into it. I've got some browns and I'm going to work into it with some oranges and stuff and um, and get it going. But yeah, I want to work. So my my goals for yep. this uh, next couple of hours is to get the armor highlighted. Yep. Uh, I want to get some industrial striping on the barricade, some black striping. Okay. Uh, and then, when really weather it, 
um, and then and then see where and then that's as far that's I know it doesn't sound a lot, but in an hour and forty five minutes with us <laughs> chatting, you'll be surprised how quickly that goes. Yeah. So so that's my goal. Um, your goal? You my want? goal. Um, so I've got my suiciders here. So I plan on. Um, well, I figure these are more kind of primitive suiciders, even though they're just kind of found this bomb. Um, <laughs> well, they found the bomb. I mean, they yeah. found them. They don't know what yeah, they are. They're, they're just going to they, they pick up dingo boom kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to do the plating on them kind of like a bone colour so it makes them be a little bit more like they've found the foes of their enemy and they kind of just strap them to their side a bit more feral isn't it yeah yeah and maybe like a maybe like a nice sort of tanned leathery colour for like the sarongs and stuff like that just so it's like you know just literally, oh, he's got some skulls on him as well. I didn't even notice that. Oh, before. perfect. Oh, that's even per- that's- oh, we like a skull. Oh, we like a nice skull or two. There we go. Now um, he's got some chains on as well, so I might go over them with a nice, like, nice bright colour to really highlight them. And we suggested earlier maybe a dark wash to go over the ends. Yeah, I think so. Just to uh, just to dull them down a bit and yeah. make them because it is the wasteland after yeah, all. Yeah, it is the wasteland. You know, unless they found an old. Um, Lowe's <laughs> or B&Q I don't think the chains would have um, been kept too shiny although they might be galvanised still that's yeah. true that's true they could be galvanised still so yeah I'm just going to start off with my barricade going straight into painting and um, getting the, the um, stripes on in black I'm just free handed them I'm not measuring them yeah. uh, when I did the um, I was like, I'm putting over there because it's over there um, then when I did the red <laughs> rocket and I did the yellow yellow lines on the right oh, yeah. I, I take them off oh wow and I used so on and I um so like I'm a master mask them off, sorry, and I stippled the yellow lines. And this yeah. I'm just freehanding because okay. if I do wobble or stray, yeah. when I apply my weathering, I can go over that and just in- integrate into the weathering. So it's yeah. a lot more forgiving. I do apologise if you see me uh, lick my brush. I'm a brush licker. I always have been. Always will be. <laughs> um, paints are non-toxic. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Please don't complain. <laughs> So you're up to there. So you can start off on the bone, are you? I'm going to start off on the just because that's nice big areas. Because if you didn't catch it last week, I'm not. I'm nowhere near as experienced as Reese. So <laughs> it's very much a kind of master apprentice kind of show. Oh, as you well. are kind, master oh. and apprentice. There are only two. There is a master and an apprentice. Yes, <laughs> makes me out to be like a Sith Lord. I like it. <laughs> it's good. I've got a red lightsaber somewhere. I like it. That's yeah, that's cool. So, so in the week, so any more thoughts about how your army's gonna it's gonna play? How are you going to play? Oh, them? they're going to be so aggressive. Really? Well, I guess they have. Well, to be fair, I mean, I've gone close combat as well, and you're kind of close combat. I mean, uh, we're going to we're, just run at each other, aren't we? I think we're just going to run at each other. There, there are going because um, Fallout, Wasteland, uh, role playing game, uh, not role playing game, um, the well, tabletop and, and game, the role playing and the role playing game. They're all uh, they're what we call narrative games, narrative war games. So it's not just running at people and killing them. There are also objectives. Yeah, exactly. So you can win the game by not just creaming your opponent with heavy fire, but by outsmarting them. Well, in fact, I mean, my army, you know, I guess if, you, if it was in like a, a non-narrative um, game, my army would kind of seem a little bit overpowered, a little bit elitist, oh, because yeah, I've totally. only got like four guys in, in like super armor. But in a game of war, um, Fallout, um, they still need to be able to like unlock things, search for things, and stuff yep. like that. And I'm think I'm thinking, and probably I'm not sure if this is true, but I'm sure with having big hefty clamps on their hands, they're not going to be great at opening things up and looking. Well, they so, might. Be, <laughs> you know, they'd be very good at operating machinery. Well, yes, um, that could be good fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could plug in like R two D two. That could that could work. I, I, I'll be down with that. Yeah. So uh, perhaps I should get a, perhaps I should get a Mister Handy and paint in R two D two. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mixing my um. I'm mixing my my sci-fi again. I do apologise. <laughs> that is quite all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, so I have, um, I've got a bit of. Well, I don't know what that is. Well, you got a bit of a bit. That looks like a little bit. That's kind of like a little bit of fluff. So what's probably happened there, as you've undercoated it, a bit of fluff, carpet fluff, or something's probably gone into it. Okay. The best way to get rid of that is probably just use a knife and just scrape it away. Knife and scrape it away. Okay. <laughs> the man I even said that the Reese Knight is playing Grey Knights. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I think last week, I don't know if you were here, yeah, you were here last week, weren't you? Um, I mentioned that I once played a tournament where I took 13 figures and 2,000 points. <laughs> but the irony of that was I had four, I'd have used four books to play them. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was very silly. Um, I didn't win. Uh, but did you have fun? I had great fun. There we go. That's, That's the important thing. Yeah. Okay, you can have your knife back. No, you're very kind. Thank you. Yeah, no, I like, um, I may be, um, well, people say I'm a good painter and, you know, I, I thank them for that. But I'm a terrible gamer. I am awful. I've been playing for like nearly 500 years and I still haven't got a clue tactically. 
Because yeah. oh, generally I go for things that I like the look of. Yeah. I'm not a, a meta gamer in the slightest. See, I, th- I was just like that before I joined here. And, um, <laughs> have, have the dev team destroyed you? Yeah, I mean, uh, they yeah, kind of have. Just... I was I used to be a kind of very narrative gamer. I'd be like, oh, I'll pick this list because this guy looks cool and all that sort of stuff. And now it's just been, it's been kind of ruined. And now now you've got to think about tactics. Now, now I've got to think about dirty lists and tactics. And <laughs> it just so turns out that I'm very good at making dirty lists. Oh, okay. So, um... See, I blame Ethan and Charlie. I, I blame them as well. Yeah, good. Let's just blame them. They can be the ones that have destroyed you and the way you, you, way you change your gaming style. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, some black lines already. There you go. Oh, very nice. Yeah, not too bad, is it? So, Are you going to put the little uh, JCB sign on the front? I, I'm, yeah, I mean, my free hand isn't the greatest. Yeah. But um, yeah, I might, I might put some... I'm just going to put it on the close-up just to see, show people what I've been up to. Um, just done some, um, some striping there. Uh, the reason uh, we're calling them the JCB uh, is because I'll come up with a name on there, the Junktown California Brotherhood, yep. which stands for JCB. Uh, people in the UK will probably know what we're talking about, but if in the US, that's kind of like Caterpillar. Caterpillar, yeah. So yeah, they're kind of like the, um, the the industrial equipment company in the UK, aren't they? Bulldozers. They, they even, have their, no, they even have their own land. Oh, wow. It's JCB land, believe it or not. They have their own theme park. <laughs> I don't know quite. I've never been. I've driven past it several times. It's near Alton Towers, which is a proper big. Oh, yeah. oh wow, park. that's a big theme park. But um, yes, <laughs> was it? Uh, so some people use hashtag blame Ethan and Charlie. Yep. Yeah, let's get that trending. Yeah, that's, yeah let's that's, get that trending. I'm happy with that. That should be good. So an additional thing we're doing because you know we're narrative experience. We want to we want to have an army that we can get behind and really build a story for. So. Um, if you fancy cheering, donating, or subscribing, we'll let you name one of our. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, yes, exactly. As I was discussing before, we, yeah, before we came on 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 on, on stream. Yeah. Is um, yeah, we you know we'd like people to name our, our guys really. Um, I've got four guys. Four, yeah, four guys in each naming. Yep. Um, oh, a, a backhoe is a US term, I think. Are you backhoe? Probably, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, exactly. Well, JCB is is, is a is a brand, not a thing. It's a bit like Hoover and vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So JCB is the company that make them. Um, so yes, but so yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Back to naming. Yeah, I want you to name our name our guys. Um, you know, you you can be silly, but obviously, let's keep it PG thirteen. Let's keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Over the shirt. Yeah, let's keep it PG thirteen, please, yep. people. That would be very nice. Thank you very much. But yeah, that'd be cool. You can name them. Um, you know, I'll go for. I'll, I'll, I'll put them in close up, and then people can see. Oh, yeah. um, um, and, and they can see kind of the character. So this will be a kind of like he's, he's my um, he's the main guy. He's my hero, isn't yep. he? He's, he's my hero. So this guy is, is my hero guy. He's in a kind of quite a semi cool, kind of relaxed pose. There, he's got a pretty cool hero pose. That's he has, cool. yeah. He's kind of like you know, he's kind of just leaning there like, like like not really bothered. He's he like, needs yeah, a whatever. cigarette in his one hand. Right? Yeah, he's, he's not really the So that's my leader guy. And then we've got these two guys have got their. Um, they got the same armor, so they got a clamp, and both got a, a laser pistol. Which right. I've actually converted them from the um, laser rifle. I've just cut them down, I but I kept the stock on them. So nice, just, you know, yeah. kind of Boba Fett styley. And then the last guy is Mister Twin Clamps with his Gatling laser. So they're the guys I've got in my army. Yep. So if anyone feels fancy uh, engine them, uh, and yeah, naming them that'd be cool. Alright, so I haven't revealed all my army yet. So you I've got, no. I've got, I've got my doggo number one. Doggo. He's, he's kind of, yeah, he's a bit feral. I did some teeth on him last time. He's got his tongue out, you know. He's, 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 he's all slobber chops. And I've got this guy over here. He's, he's a bit more kind of growly. He's kind of like sniffing the ground. He knows where you are. He doesn't need, <laughs> line, of, he doesn't need line of sight to charge. He knows um, what you're doing. He knows what you're doing. He knows what, what you're doing. <laughs> Then I got, uh, I got my boom boys. Yeah, yeah. I'm not looking forward to those. Uh, the brothers are bang. Um, I'm not looking forward to the brothers. I've just started painting some of the plating on them. A bit of Drake. Is it Drake Tooth? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it seems to be the, the go-to paint of choice, actually. Drake Tooth. Drake Tooth. That it's good for bone good and button. teeth and you know, that kind of shenanigans. And so I'm going to give him a nice rusty bomb as well. So that's going to be uh, pretty good. And then I got another one. And he's, he's just about to set his one off. As you can see, the little little bomb is just pressing into the ground just there. Yeah, I'm going to bring them up with a bit of uh, 
bit of rusty chains going around them. Yeah, that'll look cool. Nice. That'll look good. Like the bone will really um, go well with a kind of bluey, purpley, oily skin. It's kind of like an oil slick. Thing, yeah. What you've achieved there. Um, yeah, it's got that kind of rainbowy oil, you know. Yeah. It's... You know, oil, oil on the road kind of look, which is which is nice. I like it. Give them a kind of like an uh, otherworldly kind of. Otherworldly, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're kind of not quite, almost, almost alien. Almost alien. Almost. Almost. Alien. <laughs> Sounds like Jono's already named his guy. What, slobber chops? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can make it official right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> slobber chops. Slobber chops sounds like a kid's TV show. Oh my God, that would be a horrible t- t- kid's TV show. <laughs> Welcome to slobber chops. Right? Oh. There are horrible kid's TV shows. I mean, do you remember- Most kid's TV shows are... Uh, disturbing in some way. That is true. Well, not all of them. Get your own back back in the day. That was uh, a good kids' show. Well, I don't know. Lots of gunge. Well, exactly, gunge. You know, chucking filth and uh, the parents and stuff. Parents and teachers. Yeah, it's it. not great. It doesn't really teach them respect, does it? I don't really care. It sounds like a wrong or right political <laughs> or a, I don't care. Bring it on. <laughs> Slobber chops and the brothers of bang is what we is what Gribble suggests. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, me, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's quite cool. Slobber chops and the brothers. Yeah. Are oh. <laughs> Mine will end up with just serial numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like barcodes. I'm not painting. I am not painting barcodes. <laughs> no way. No. Uh, no. Thank you very I have to get much. Get one of those zero 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 brushes for that. Uh, barcodes. No, no. I'd make my own transfers if I was doing that. Oh, okay. I would use a transfer. Because, yes, I'm all about the painting, but I'm all about the cheating while you're painting as well. And I will happily cheat to get, get, to get a desired effect. Cheating, you like using lots of washes like I did last week. Yeah, well, again, but people go, oh, cheating. Is it, is, is it cheating, though? No. I don't think it is. It's just using... I mean, I still it's do just it. using valid techniques, sure. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, some games have different difficulty settings. And, you know, <laughs> Just cause I, Are you on easy mode? I mean, I wouldn't say it was easy mode, but it's definitely a, it's a <laughs> let's go for a strong average slash novice. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. Yeah. See, I'm, I just, I just, I, I would happily use whatever's available. I mean, I, you know, for black lining, you know, when you have to do like fine pin lines and stuff, oh, or yeah. if you want to do writing, I'll use fine liner pens. Why not? Why not? Why uh, wouldn't you? You know, why wouldn't you not? You know, I use, and everyone goes, oh, cheating. No. The Egyptians used, basically used felt tips. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're writing on the walls. Yeah. They basically made felt tips. They made, and they used like papyrus, which is kind of, it was obviously fibrous. Yeah. And they would shape it and then dip it in their in their pigment and just do that, which is effectively making a fine liner pen, like a marker. It's true. So, wow. yeah, they would. There you go. That's what two years. That's what three years of university gets you. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the Egyptians invented um, felt tips. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to seeing your your hammer guy. Oh yeah, I've uh, I modified him ever so slightly. Yeah, are you still doing are you giving him the sign? Um, As a I might be giving. Oh, he doesn't really. He's, oh, I don't think he can actually hold a sign anymore. Uh, well, we could strap it to his back. Or put it on his base. We could, because I found you, I found those some things for you, didn't I? My oh, yeah, that's true. Um, so the male arch man. Uh, if a student that works, it's not stupid. That's very true. I mean, some things that work for you might not work for other people. Yeah, yeah. It could be that you're very deft with a brush, but not so deft with a pen. So, you know, whatever works for you yeah. is good. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I'm, no, yeah, my, my handwriting is actually terrible. Same here. Yeah. That's why everything I write is in, in capital letters. <laughs> Too much form filling this kid. So yeah, so the, one of the ideas, I think they're talking about um, giving Hammer a sign. Yes. And obviously we may not, or people obviously may not know what we're talking about. So one of the ideas you had prior to the stream was yeah. you were going to give him like, a, you wanted to give him like a, a street yes. American stop sign, didn't you, as a so, weapon. I say, Reese was going to have construction guys. I wanted sort of uh, road men. Yeah, Alien chain gang kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, like kind a chain of gang. Like, so uh, yeah, they will be wearing like biker chains and stop signs and you know like a traffic light and that sort of thing. You know, I thought that'd be really cool. But um, as this is my first, that was the original. That was the first theme, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was the... And then uh, then he brought out the clamps, and I was like, oh, you know what goes really well with clamps? <laughs> yeah, weird purpley things. Weird purpley things goes well with clamps. All right, so 
So, so, so I found I was talking. So when John wanted, wanted to have first had this idea, he was like, "Oh, how do I do the writing on a stop sign?" And I was like, "I'm sure they make like little plastic letters. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen them." And last week in my bits box at home, I found some. <laughs> they are. So I'll, I'll put them on the close up. So these are a little. It shows you how old I've, 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 you've got to see the whole packet to know how old they are. Yeah. But so there they are. They are, they are tiny. They are tiny little plastic letters. Which you could, oh, you could then so you could cut your little hexagon, yeah, and then you could have glued the STO, STO, and I reckon I think the idea was leave the leave a space for the, the ST, yeah. leave a space for the O, yeah, and do the P, and then um, you could have had they would have been embossed, yeah. So, um, but you know, we could use them for something else. But I'm glad I found them. But I've had these for donkey's years. <laughs> uh, they are for anyone who wants to know. They are Slater's, Slater's, Slater's. fine scale railway components, the finest. Yes, they look box fresh. <laughs> no, they don't. They are not box fresh. I've had them a while. Uh, yes. Again, one of those ideas where you go, oh, I'm going to make this really cool thing, and you just don't do it. And you just don't do you it. You just don't do it. You see them in a, you see them in a model shop and go, oh, they'll be cool for a thing. And then you never use them, ever. And then they get lost, and then you find them. You find them after you need them. I oh, always, always. I always find that, you know, you get something, and you're like, oh, I'll do... This will, this will be really great for that. And then the first opportunity to use them goes past, and you're like, oh, I had that thing. I definitely had that thing. Yeah, yeah, I've put and it you, somewhere. I, yeah, and then you're like, oh, just just do this other thing instead. And then the day after you need them, you'll find them. They'll just turn up, and they'll be like... Yeah, after you've just um, bought them again Yeah. as well. I've, I've done, you know, I've done that with miniatures. Yeah. I've done that with miniatures. I've gone, oh, yeah, I need X and Y to finish. I, I think I, it was um, War Machine. I was doing uh, some hordes, and I was like... Oh, I'm sure I needed. Um, was it a blitzer? The, the one that throws? Yes, I think it's a blitzer. It's the one that's got like the big bombs, the uh, barrels. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I need one of And I went out and bought one. And then as I was painting it, I was um, tied up a workshop and found one. So I ended up with two, which was great. Yeah, so I've done that. I've done that. I've, I've done that a few times, to be fair. Just hidden. Hidden hid, gems. Hidden gems. Hidden. Yeah, exactly. Hidden gems. But actually, we was, something we were discussing this morning in the office is like, you know, um, people who like buy things and then you open them, you go, oh, cool. And you open it, and you have a good old look and then you put it put it away and yeah, you never yeah. see it again. <laughs> oh, it happens so often. Oh, all the time. All the time. There's so oh, many games I've bought on Steam for that. It's just like, oh, yeah. This uh, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in sale and you're just like, oh, just, I, I get that. And I'm sure I'll play it at some point. And then years go past and you're like, why don't I? I've never played that. Yeah, I'm a bit like that with Star Trek Online, actually. Is that any good? Uh, Star Trek Online? Yeah, I mean, I haven't played it for a while, and so if I go back into it, I'm probably going to have to wait about four years for it to update. Oh, uh, yeah, it's one of those <laughs> So, well, they do like it. They theme it every sort of couple of months. There'll be like a new mission pack, and it'll be, and they, and it's because it's set after T. It's kind of set roughly in the same time scale as, um, as a new Picard show will be set. Ooh. So it is set way after TNG. So like Geordie's in it as a captain and things like that. He's, he's cropped up in the storyline. And they've done time travel once, so they've brought Discovery into it. Yeah. So because they've done a, they did like a time travel thing and we've been at war with the Klingons again. That kind of stuff. So they yeah, they have advanced the storyline a little bit, which is quite cool. But um Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I, I quite enjoy it. I fly around. I've got a Miranda class. Ooh. It's it's no, don't go it's one of the most basic ships you start with. But I like the Miranda class, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> I don't want no fangled Enterprise E yeah. Sovereign class. <coughs> I don't need it. Yeah, so how are we getting on? Oh, well, I'm just painting the claws at the moment. All oh, right, yeah. And then what, you're going to whack a, whack a brown wash over that? And then whack a brown wash. Nice. I'm not sure about these claws down here, because they're kind of buried into the floor. Oh, I wouldn't bother. Okay. That's the other thing about painting as well. By the time you've done the base, you're not going to see them claws. So yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm all for... I'm all for not painting stuff you're never <laughs> going to see. It's like, well, I mean, because there's always a debate as well. Do you paint on sprue? Especially for plastic knotty part fingers. Yeah. Paint on sprue, paint off sprue. And it's a debate that's been raging since plastic miniatures have been the thing. Um, and again, it's, it's each to your own, really. You do whatever you want to do. Um, personally, I don't do it because if you paint it on the sprue, you've got to paint all of it. Yeah. Whereas if you paint a figure and he's got a gun going like that, you don't have to paint that bit. Yeah, no <laughs> so again, so it's, it's it's how you want to do it. But no, I never got. I've never 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 gelled of painting on sprue. It's never been a thing for me. 
I've never tried it. But um, um, but I don't think I will. Like it, like you said, it just makes sense to. If no one's ever going to see it, then why bother doing it? Precisely. I mean, for a competition with then yes, you've got to because they they analyse them and go over them with a fine tooth comb. But for an army, yeah. I, I, so the other Irishman, uh, I prime on sprue, then assemble them, paint and gribble. Says I'm a Reese. I always assemble my paint and paint as little as I can. Yep, that's the way forward. I mean, you save more paint that way as well. <laughs> thrifty as well. Yeah, thrifty. Yeah, yeah. got to get thrifty. <laughs> I get it. I get that reference. Yeah, I'm not that old. I, I get that. I get that reference. But yeah, so. But yeah, I mean, I, I get it. It's each their own, isn't it? It's whatever. Whatever, so you know, whatever you want to do, really. But you won't catch me painting on the sprue. But priming on the sprue, I can say black undercoat, and all washes hide a lot of sins. Black undercoat does hide a lot of sins, I'm but good. I have in the last two years. Gone predominantly with white undercoat now. Oh, really? Yeah, I've just because I use a lot of washes. They just take you know you, you can bring up black undercoat laws. Whatever colour you put over black will make it darker. Yeah. Um, so white undercoat, you're you're automatically starting off with quite a bright colour on a white undercoat, and then you can wash over the top of it. So you know. So yes, um, I used to do it predominantly black, but now I've done a little yeah white. White's kind of winning at the moment. But again, that all depends on what you're painting. Yeah. You know, if you were painting a predominantly black army or figure, then you'd paint it black. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you know, uh, I need some kind of silver. Uh, which one? Which, like, shining silver? Shining silver will be grand, because I've got I've gone quite dark on my chipping and my thingy now. Oh, wow, you have, yeah. So I need to put a little bit of silver on some of the edges just to bring it back. Okay, so I always hated a white undercoat, okay, but since I started using contrast paints, I've been able to get them yeah, exclusively. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, again, last week, we, I think we spoke about contrast. I've not tried it yet. Okay. Not tried it yet. And again, that's not through want of, of being a snob. Uh, the, the opportunity has just not presented itself. Yeah. It's just, I've got thousands of paints, and yeah. I'm not going to change an entire paint range just because it's new. Um, but, you know, I'm open-minded. I'm, I'm going to Essen, the Essen Spiel in Germany this week. Uh, I'm sure Games Workshop will be there, and I'm sure they will have demos of contrast paint so if i get five minutes i shall sit down and, and, and have a go have a go yeah well you know I'm, not, I'm i'm open to it i'm just you know i'm just not going to go out and spend a fortune replacing all my paints because <laughs> it's never going to happen because they cost a fortune they, they do cost a lot but then you get a lot of mileage out of them that's true yeah uh what have we got Gribble's going to be essen looking forward to it hey, hey. nice excellent yeah 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 so where are uh, oh i'll go see if i can remember now Steve, you might have to help me out, but I think we're at Hall, Hall 6, row E, stand 103 or 115. It's one of those two. I think it's 103. Oh, we'll find out. But it's, I think it's 115, actually. But um, yeah, that's where we'll be. We're in, Hall, we're in Hall 6, which is predominantly the miniatures Hall. Because obviously, we'll have that. We'll have, we'll have the entire Fallout range yeah. there. Nice. Um, we'll have some DTR stuff, the director retail yep. that we launched it, um, last week. We'll have some of that there. And we will have um, the glowing courses, Ooh, the see-through blue courses. They, they're really and we'll have the glowing ghouls or the see-through green ghouls as well. Nice. We'll have some of those. Hey, Gribble says, I'll come and say hello and buy me a pint if I'm free. Oh. I'm always free for a pint. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, always free for a pint. It's a mad Irishman. I have like six different primer sprays, black, green. 115. It was 115. It was it 115? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it it one or the other. Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, all depends on the paint. Yeah, I've only just started. Well, I've only just like, got, a, got a, I've only just got into the painting hobby. So um, I mainly use blacks as my undercoat because it does hide a lot of sins. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, you're right. It does. <coughs> it does. Okay. Though. I mean, I still, I say, I, I, I still do um, undercoat in black. But also, again, though, if I'm doing something that's um, predominantly one color, I'll, I'll go to a army painter spray. Yeah. You know, um, you know, one of my other things I'm currently working on, and, and those of you who follow me on Instagram um, might have seen them. I'm doing a Salamander's Dreadnought Army. Ooh. Oh, they're going to be sprayed green <laughs> because I'm not painting hand painting eight Dreadnoughts in green. Yeah, they are, they will be sprayed green. So, and there's an army painter green that's perfect for it. And it's, I mean, it's there, so why not use it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, you always bring a can of Moxie to keep you refreshed. Who's ah, so some queen has seen Arm Cam of Moxie. 
Our, our lovely can of Moxie. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you, Sun Queen. That was um, a, a, a truly inspired gift. That was. So we so we've received uh, Sun Queen has sent us um, a subscriber gift, um, and it was a can of some. I don't know what. What flavour is it, Sun Queen? Because I it, is it a root beer? Because it's revolting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't lie. It's it's horrible. I tried. <laughs> I, <enjoyed that> terrible <laughs> I I I, enjoy, I tried. I drank half a can. Um, you're braver than most, Reese. Uh, uh, black licorice and mint. That's why I didn't like it. That, I can't stand that licorice. That sounds horrible. It That's, does. Why would you give someone that drink? Uh, uh, right. Well, some was the guy was um, he sent us our rocker switches when we were doing the um, TOS. Star Trek thing because ah. we kept on switching the polarities and he sent us like a load of world rocker switches so he could keep switching their polarities so you know that was good it's good it was, it, you know what it's nice to be appreciated it's nice yeah, to it receive is. something in the post it was good fun it was good fun but it, it, it is revolting it truly is um, yeah uh, so Maine's famous for Stephen King and Moxie because <laughs> that's where it comes from I believe Stephen King and Moxie. Stephen King and Moxie could almost be in the same novel. Yeah, I'm surprised Stephen King hasn't written about it because he writes about everything to do with Maine. Everything's in Maine, isn't it? Yeah, everything's yeah, in yeah, Maine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, be, uh, 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 yeah. So yes, I um, ES. So yeah, there will be demos of Elder Scrolls. Uh, uh, there will. Uh, as, uh, as well, and, uh, our very own Alid, yeah, who is yeah. Alamus. Alamus in in chat. He will be running uh, Elder Scrolls demo. Yes, he will. Which looks really good. Um, I'm hoping to get a, a cheeky demo. A cheeky demo. Yeah, yeah, because the game looks great, with the, oh. especially the two modes. Oh yeah, it's, really it's, like the two modes. So I'm a big fan of the uh, the delve mode personally, just because. You know, you, only have to, you only have to paint one figure. You only have to paint one figure. That's, <laughs> that's a bonus. But it's also just because you know when you play with Destiny games, you want you want that. Uh, when I play them, it's that you you have that so you're that one person against the masses, and it's the delve mode really captures that element of just sort of sneaking about if you're doing that, or just if you're going like the path of might is charging in there and just smashing stuff. That's 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 the game for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. No, no, no yeah, yeah, great. I, I mean, I love a dungeon delve. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of thing. Uh, but this the battle mode I'm looking forward to as well. Uh, the battle mode, because because. Obviously, the actual Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls stuff online is very much that dungeon delve yes. solo play, getting in and doing that kind of thing. I think the battle mode will be be great to play like a battle mode in that world and in that realm. Yeah, I so, get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I've just done a close up of my that's absolutely of my thing, and I, I probably won't do any more to that. But so that's basically been sponged. Yeah. I don't know if people saw me doing that. So I was, I sponged it. I went, went quite dark on the sponging. And then I've put some yellow in there as well. Okay. And then all I've done is on the edges, I've just run some, I've just run the edge of my brush. Yep. With some silver paint on it. And I've just gone along some of the edges and sort of staggered it. And not, not straight along, but, you know, just almost like Morse code, dotted it along. Yep. Um, and I'm probably going to leave that now. I might go in with some um, some wash and just run some dribbles of rust down. But I would, I would, I'd probably leave that. But yeah, no, the main great. thing I'm going on about is the black it has not been highlighted. Yeah. So I've not highlighted that black. I've literally just painted black stripes on that and then weathered around it. So again, cutting corners when you can. Black self highlights. Yeah. You know, so you don't really need to highlight black, especially if you've only got a little bit of black. Um, so it will self highlight. So there we go. So I'm going to now go on to my my, my guys. Uh... <sighs> we had Dragon Ball. Man. I went to buy one the other day and saw it was sold out at the store. Uh, Funny story, Gribble. There's a reason why they're sold out on the store. It's because I've taken them all to Essen. <laughs> so hopefully, yes, we should have some. We should have some Dragon Balls at Essen. Um, as I'm setting up the stand, I'll see if I can remember to put one aside for you. Um, more than happy to do that because uh, myself and um, Ali will be setting and uh, we'll be setting up the stand anyway. So okay, more than happy to put one aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. I'm not promising. I will try my best. <laughs> I will try my best, but yes, I could obviously I had to sort out all the stock uh, to take to Essen. So, hello, friends. Hey, hello. Why are you here? Oh no. I. Oh have no. Been sent in. No. Ooh, I have a gift for you. 
Oh, it's, it's not a gift. Oh, though, they would give it? me free. Oh, it's a gift for me. Placed in by your own petard. Hey, everyone. Ethan's here. Hello. I'm... <laughs> and Ethan's brought us a, a treat. Hello. What have you brought us, Ethan? Oh, well, a can of Moxie, it looks like. What am I going to do? I'm going to pop it in front of here. Oh, it's vile. Definitely oh. can't see it. A can of Moxie. Yeah. Uh, Moxie. I think uh, Sunquee mm. sent it in. He did, and he's just he's just said hello. Like they're all saying hello to you now. So what I've been told to do is pour out. Oh, it looks it's so nasty. You've got to drink it though. I have. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I know. It. I know why I'm letting myself I'm setting myself up for it. Yeah, you know, I'll drink it off camera here. No, you yeah. won't. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll down it in front of everyone and the nation. Oh, that's vile. Uh, right. So, Sun Queen, what have you done? For, for, what have you done? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. How it work, I mean, people in the UK will reckon they're in, really, don't they? So, but I'm not yeah. sure. How, I'm not sure how it works in the US. Oh, that's it's a big one glass. for Jono. But you know, at the end, we you know when you um, go to the dentist, and at the end, you have to swirl that pink stuff around. One for Reese. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I love you. It tastes like the stuff the dentist gives you to swill. And one for Ethan. <laughs> You're just gonna switch these around. There we go. Remember, I've already no, 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 no. I've already, I've already ingested this. Ooh. This is this is um. I think have a little. It's a quiet taste. Is I can is, smell is, it from here. Jesus. Right. Have a, have a whiff of that. Oh wow, that is um. We like medicinal. to drink with Jono because Jono is our mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put this down. This is a bucket. You know what? Down. Cold. That's actually not bad. That's See when I when I when I drank it the first can, it was straight out the packet. So it had been in customs for about mm. five days. <laughs> delicious moxie. So delicious moxie. Mm. 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 Uh, tasting notes. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting diesel, um, with a hint of methylated spirits, and just a note of um, eye drop. <laughs> uh, I'm getting flavours. Um, some of them could be described as medicinal. Um, some of them could be described slightly oily. Oily. Um, I mean, it has a kind of sheen on the top, like it, oil. They look like your suicides. They look like my suicides. <laughs> it looks like your suicides. Or one of my dogs. <laughs> That's impressive. How is the painting going? The painting's going really well. Did you see my? Ooh, a barricade. Yeah. So oh. just to show people that you can obviously theme your scenery around your army. In oh. yellow, the most difficult of colours. The most difficult of all colours, yeah, right. <laughs> hmm. Not um. when you've got me on the case. I'll yellow you should I'll yellow you right up. How are we painting the yellow? So <coughs> sorry, Mo Moxie. <laughs> 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 Quick actors commercial. Quick actors commercial. <laughs> <laughs> no, um I'll be painting the bone spray. Uh, Cassandra Yellow Wash. Okay. And now I'm dry brushing with my fabulous makeup brush. From your own collection. From my own collection, from the Reese Night collection. The Reese by Night, we call it. Um, <laughs> I'm now dry, dry brushing the Demonic Yellow. <laughs> just to, I'm, I'm doing the Demonic Yellow just to give it a little, because the um, Cassandra Yellow is not a strong yellow. Because technically it's an orange, but over yeah. the bone it gives it a yellow tint. Um, just to bring, I'm just bringing, making the yellow a bit richer. By just doing, it's almost like a glaze, but yep. with a with a fine dry brush, because I use these to do that with. Because these are brilliant. Because you know, like makeups used, these brushes are used to blend makeup. As I would know, as as we, we all would as know. we all know, as we all, we all go into makeup before stream every. Uh, well, that's time. absolutely. That's how we look. That's how we look. Jono looks good. incredible today. I know. I mean. I spent all day getting ready for this. Stream. I, mean, I mean, I've got my old man. I've got my old man makeup on because I'm only twenty two. So well, yeah. But um, but, but no, because they're specifically designed to blend. Right. Okay. They're like really good dry brushes because they're yeah. rounded and they're really soft. So you don't get as many. You don't get the streaks as much. See, I've always dry brushed with quite hard brush. So. Well, well, there you go. That's yeah, cool. You want a soft brush? No. Well, a lady's brush. A lady's brush. or a man's brush or a man's brush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what? What? I've just noticed that the knees looks like they've got faces. Oh, yeah, they do. Uh, the knees. Like the faces of your enemies. Like that faces. So you heard it here, guys. Go raid your, your significant <laughs> other's makeup bag 
and steal all their brushes and tell her she looks like a knee yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or go to the pound shop and pick one up for a quid or that yeah. or that <laughs> yeah. Jono I really like your red mutant hounds they're nice aren't come they come up well with they I've, I've really come recently up well. playing some claws on them I mean they must have been in the cabinet for a week and I've just not noticed them <laughs> Unless you kept them over here. Uh, no, I kept them in the cabinet. I even cool. got them out one day and... Uh... <laughs> I showed you. I showed you. I showed you to your face, Ethan. I and you said, a... ah. <laughs> I've had a hard day of work. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not incredible. You've had, had, you had, you had a hard week of deving, haven't you? Oh, so much dev. So, so much deving. All the deving. All the Elder Scrolls deving. Yeah. Which one day we'll be able to show you. Yeah, soon. Soon, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. I'm looking forward, sorry, looking forward to hopefully getting the demo next week at Essen. So, yeah, yeah. be cool. Well, we're having fun dev- uh, devving it, aren't we? Do you want to oh. up some new cool scenarios? Oh, we are indeed at the moment. Oh, won't you be at uh, EGX coming up soon? Me? Uh, no, we're not EGX. No. <laughs> no, that's today. No. Nope. That's today. <laughs> that's today. Today, EGX. <laughs> That's it. Today is EGX. No, I think we're at Essen next week. We're Essen next week, yeah. Next uh, next week. What's the one at the end of the month? Um, That's it. No, uh, <laughs> the one which is where you buy... Oh, uh, something, something near Comic-Con. Something near Comic-Con. Yeah. Steve can confirm what we're talking oh, about. I don't know what you're talking about. You've lost um, me. But there is an event happening <laughs> And I'm the event manager and you've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm not... I'm not well, Kind of, I'm kind of the events manager. Well, fellows, I... Are you going to leave us now? I'm going to leave you. Don't forget to take your moxie. That's, mm. that's Jono's portion. No, no, it's not. It was your one. And I'm sure if anyone was to give us any bits, Jono would finish it. Oh, A that's significant a amount. Oh. Oh, maybe, oh. Well, we'll say 500. Jono will down it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you will kill me on stream. But you'll also get to name one of the minis. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> So it's two for the price of one. Two for the price of one. So bits, so bits will make you drink moxie and name a name a character and name one of the characters, even the um, down one double. Uh, Steve, the good way to get out of this now, Jono, is to just is, is to, to mistake away. moxie for your painting water. water. It's yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, guys. I shall see you later. I'm going to go do some. It's better cold. It's like I say, I, mine was customs fresh, and it wasn't great. <laughs> customs fresh. Mm. Mm. Oh, but it's much better cold. Enjoy your drink. Enjoy Thank your you, dinner. Ethan. Farewell, all. Have Goodbye. Take care. Nice Goodbye, to see you. Ethan. Next time, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the car in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you will indeed. <laughs> Oh dear, that was a fleeting visit, wasn't it? Oh. Yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, myself and Ethan car share. Because <laughs> he lives near me, so we car share. <laughs> Customs fresh. Second best description. It was awful. But better <laughs> cold, seriously. Far better cold. That was vile. I mean, it smelled worse than it tasted. Um, and you can't say that about a lot of things. Uh, I mean, actually, you can. You, yeah, you probably could. It was it, it wasn't good. <laughs> it was not a good thing. It was not a fine so, a fine taste. I think anyway. I think uh some quite a set of stuff. Oh wow. Oh, oh we have five hundred oh. Obsi- oh Obisaro has pledged five hundred bits. Five hundred bits. Is that is that what bits are? Is that what the kids yeah, call that, them that, nowadays? That's, that's five hundred bits. Is that what the kids call them nowadays? Oof, okay, and uh which 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 model would you like to name? <laughs> I don't think he wants to name a model. Well, he gets to anyway. <laughs> so once we've established which model he wants to name, oh, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned into an episode of Cracker Jack. That's yeah. what it is. It's, it's almost just because you were talking about gunging earlier. It was. It's because you're talking about gunging, and now we're, you're, 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 you've got to drink your own gunge. Oh, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's my turn this week. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What is a cra- what is a cracker jack? Uh, so, um, cracker jack, for those who don't know, is a very old uh, children's program, um, sort of late seventies, early eighties. Uh, I'm not quite sure if there's an American equivalent, really. But kids would go on, and they would do games, and yeah. eventually, what basically, 
if you lost your game, you'd end up in a tube and they'd chuck gunk on you. Yeah. That's essentially it. So they, when they, they were silly games, they had to stand on like a podium and they would be given toys and gifts yeah. and cabbages. Um, and it was, if they dropped them, they yeah. lost. It was kind of like Takeshi's Castle, yeah. but for children. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what models are available. Is there something with power armor? Yes, Reese has a load of power armor models. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I know what was available. Is there something with power armor? Name it. And his name's Obi. Obi. Hi, Obi. Okay. Yeah. Right, so do you want to show me your force while uh, I get rid of this horrible, horrible yeah. toxic liquid? Well, <laughs> cheers, Obi. Enjoy. I'm, I'm <laughs> move away from it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, he says. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's properly bad. Take your medicine. Oh my god! Oh, dude! Uh, dude! Well done. <laughs> I mean, people should cheer for that because that is vile. Oh, that oh is... wow! I feel like I've been to the dentist. Have you enjoyed that? You know um, what? You know that. You know. You know. You know. Your throat's anaesthetized for the next two hours. I can't feel anything in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Um, oh, that's an experience. It's. It's. It, it, mm, Moxie. Mm. It's a drink. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Well, mate, you got it down. Now you got. Don't you dare come in here with another one. Oh, I, I came in to have some, but it's all gone. Oh, oh, just there's it. another can over here. That's why that one's custom fresh. Custom <laughs> fresh. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Sunkree says, "Good job from Sunkree." That was. Oh well. Well, well done. Well, well done. To be fair, that was props because yeah, well done, mate. They even, I mean, I've been known to swallow anything, and that wasn't, I wasn't happy. I wasn't looking forward to it that much. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. I couldn't do that. And I've been cheeking off brand Coke. <laughs> I've been drinking off brand Coke this week, so because it's near the end of the month, and I'm going to Germany. <laughs> so the money has been saved. Yeah. So we got, oh, Optic Nerves in. Hi, Optic Nerves. Hey, Optic Nerves. How are you doing? And cute bunny ears. I think that's new person in today. Excellent. Good, good, good. Um, nice. Oh, we're about 50 minutes in, so let's just do um, yep. quick summary. just a quick summary. So uh, you're painting your... your I'm your, painting my hounds. Your hounds. So I haven't done much with them today. I've just sort of gone over... Given the, I, go, I painted their nails, so they kind of stand out a little bit. Can we call them claws? I mean, <laughs> we can call them claws. Can we call them claws? Nails. I mean, I've got a makeup brush. Nails. Come on. Uh, <laughs> this okay, is the okay, we're painting their claws. <laughs> we're painting this is not claws. QVC. The makeup and, hour. Uh, so that's what I've done with those boys today. And then on my suiciders, I've given them. So I I did their base, um, the the skin tone out of stream, but on the stream I've just been giving these. Uh, all right, so you've done them, nice. them and then you've made them, their metal plates is kind of like bone. Yeah, so I've given them like bone colored yeah, metal plates, yeah, nice. and I've given them kind of like a leathery kind of like skirt. So almost as if they've skinned someone. Almost like they've skinned someone because, yeah. you know, they're a bit savage. Yeah, yeah. So that's, no, that's cool, man. I like it's that. It's taken me a little while because I'm not quite as deft with a brush as uh, as my... Com oh, all I've done is dry brush stuff, mate. I'm not doing any skills. <laughs> it's all just dry brushing. I'm now, and, 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 and sponge work. Sponge work. Sponge work, Well, yeah. do you want to show off to the camera you got your deft sponge work then? Uh, well, I've only done it, I've done it on these. Yeah. I've only done it on the, um, on the barricade. I'm sure we can show the barricade up there for people, for people who haven't seen it. Chuck the barricade back oh, up there. Yes. So it's all sponges. It's all stuff. It's um, it's definitely all stuff. It's all stuff. No, it's, it's the sponges from um, mini, 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 oh, mini miniature. Mini miniature. Mini miniature. <laughs> mini Don't know where I was going with that one. Miniatures. Miniatures. So when you get um, a miniature, sometimes you get packing foam in the back. Oh yeah. So that's all this is. Just packing foam. It's just, just a foam that comes in miniatures. Or if you buy, you know, like you get the um, carry case with the black foam. Oh yes. It's that. It's all yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so no, nothing wasted. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted in my my painting house. Nothing is wasted. And I use anything and everything. That's probably why my workshop is full up with uh, all sorts of junk. Anyway, the game was uh, on my radar. This game was on my radar, but ended up slipping. I was probably seeing a ton of work at it. Well done, though. Good calling. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that's cool. It means a lot to you know know that. Um, People appreciate what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're and also, I mean, I'll say, uh, game-wise, uh, check out um, Medivis.net because we've um, there's loads of starters. You can get the starters. You can get a Super Mutants 
starter, can't you? Use, yep, Super Mutant starter. And you can get a Brotherhood starter, which I'm working on. I'm working on the Brotherhood of Steel. So you can get the starters there as well. And we've currently got the Rogue bundle up, Ooh. which is, I believe, every release uh, in Wave 2. That is correct. So is you have good. all your Raiders, uh, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. cards. Uh, Akak, Sinjin. Uh, yeah, and the cards. And yeah. So that'd be pretty good. So that's up, that's up at the moment as well. Right. And I'll tell you what else we um, we've sent out today. Oh yes, and it might be worth guys going into your local shops, or if you know any vault dwellers, we, we've uh, we've sent out um, a competition for the vault for the vault dwellers. Oh, that's correct. Um, so basically, if they they can run a game in their their store from now until Black Friday, uh, they have to send us a, a picture. You know, tell us who played in the game. And send us a picture, and then we'll pull their name out of a hat, and the vault dweller themselves can earn, I believe, a uh, sort of starter set, corset, a corset, a corset yes. of their choice. Uh, oh no, institute, an institute corset, which are on out yet? Oh yeah. So it'll be from the institute from wave three. Oh, the institute is so cool. You want to win? And the store that we that, that um is that's affiliated to that vault dweller can win a hundred and fifty dollars worth of our direct to retail line. $150. And they can do whatever they want with it. They can sell it. They can use it for to populate their own gaming tables. So that's running now. So, yes. Fantastic. Yes. That is cool. Um, I haven't painted this since Tyranny's of Wine 40k. Fourth edition. Oh, wow. <laughs> if anything can get me back into it, it's full that. Like I say, we're trying to, you know, the purpose of, of this sort of, sort of these streams, it so, so, you know, doesn't matter how you can paint. This is using some really quick and basic techniques yep. and, and get any models on the table and have a better than average, you know, I think, yeah. you know. Um, it's about getting into the hobby. It's about getting well. into it and getting into it and making it accessible. You know, because yeah, I mean, there's some beautiful painters out there. Don't get me wrong. And we do want to see these paint pictures, by the way, guys. Yeah. If you've got some stuff. Uh, Bunny, as you said, you've uh, just been painting something this week and it was dry brush tactic. If you can send us a picture on the stream, we'll happily look at it. And I think any, and I believe um, the, the painting competition is still running. I believe so. So anyone who does enter a, a picture, well, they'll be automatically entered into the painting competition. Which is really nice. Which is, then they, they can win a corset of their choice, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. So many competitions. So many competitions. So it's very difficult. <laughs> oh. uh, cute Bunny here says, I haven't started painting the radius yet, but I'm going to pick those. Is that the pigtails and the gas masks? Yep, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. So iconic. That's a great model, yeah. She kind of reminds me of Harley Quinn a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sort of uh, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. So, yeah, no, that's a great model. It's one of my favourite ones. I like um, Akak. Akak. With a big minigun. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a minigun. I blame Predator. I'm a big fan of Sinjin. I think uh, mechanically he's really cool and just his pose is just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the veteran radar just The radar power armor just looks so cool. It's just... Oh, yeah. Is that the, it's like proper the, Mad Max the radar big, armor. Just... Yeah, and it's all, it's all rusty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, again, that was one of my ideas for these guys. I was going to do them all, all rusty and, and, you know, not quite up to their full working potential. But then the JCB um, idea got me, and I just I really wanted to share my yellow technique with people. Yeah. So, mind you, tiny T. Oh, tiny Tina. Yes, it's one of my favourite characters from the Borderlands series. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I know you. I get that. I get that. Re that quote. Yeah, I get that reference. I get that reference. <laughs> Captain America style. Yes, I get that. Oh, I get that. I've got one of those Xbox things. Yeah, I've got a games console. Yes. I have the Nintendo. I have those Nintendos. I don't I do actually. I have a Wii. Oh, you got a Wii. Um, that's... I've, but I've got an Xbox. Yeah, so. that's the same. I got myself a Switch recently. Uh, oh, yeah. Because you can play Skyrim on it. Oh, can you? You can play Skyrim on the Switch. Nice. Which makes your commute to work a lot easier when you just sit there. I bet. Because no, so you're just moving, aren't you? Or you're moving? Oh, or? I am moving soon. I'm yeah, moving to yeah. uh, Shepparton in the new year. Awesome. So you're moving. You're, you're basically. So John is basically moving to our centre of the film industry, Shepparton. Yeah, that essentially, is. isn't it? Where I make a lot. James Bond. Where the James Bond stage is, yep. Shepparton. And I believe a lot of the um, prequels are made there as well. Mm. A lot of the prequel stuff was made at Shepparton. Um, and some of the and some of the new Star Wars 
you know, if I get my mini game up, I can just, you know, do some freelance work in my spare time, you know, just... Uh, I said, what, hop along? Just hop along. Hop along and say, hey, Daisy Ridley. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to paint your Minutemen? I, what I can do is I can do a... Uh, do like they did in Game of Thrones. I can just subtly leave a Fallout miniature. <laughs> just <laughs> one of these. <laughs> just drop, just drop a, a cup. Yeah, just, uh, just a just drop a four. Yeah, it's like oh, you know, it's a, you know. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's black marketing. If I ever saw it, that was dark PR. That was. Yeah, that was. Uh... <sighs> Did it work though? Was it successful? I oh, got people talking about it, didn't it? It did. So I would say yes. Yep, certainly got people talking about it. We were, yeah, we know. I mean, I'm not sure that I mentioned it before, but I don't actually watch Game of Thrones. I've never seen it. I've only read the books. I've yeah. never watched no, any I, of the episodes. I met George R. R. Martin, but I've never. Oh, really? Yeah, years ago he did a book signing in Basildon. But um, no, I've never seen Game of Thrones, and a lot of people are quite shocked by that. So, I mean, it's quite a bold statement these days. It's considered <laughs> one of the. Uh, oh yeah, I know. One of the one, yeah. of, one of the TV shows to watch. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I, no, I totally get that. But yeah. no, I've never, never watched it. Uh, you know, not for the fact I'm not, I'm not saying I'd never watch it. Yeah. But I just it's just one of those things that's past me. But I'm more of a sci-fi guy. You know, given a choice, I'd rather watch a, a bad sci-fi movie than the good high fantasy movie. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more of a fan of uh, cheesy horror films. Oh, I love a cheesy horror film. I've got I've got yeah. ones at home which are just they've got such terrible names like Chopping Mall and Cap- Oh Chopping Mall's amazing. Chopping I've seen Mall, Chopping Mall. Yeah. Um, Chopping Mall is brilliant. You can watch that for free on YouTube. because <sighs> um, no one wants to license it. Uh, Chopping Mall's great. It's got the girl from Night of Comet in it. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Night of Comet. <laughs> That's an awful awful horror film. I've got Camp Blood, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Oh, so now many. you're talking. Just I know, man. You know, um, Night of the Comet. Oh yeah. Did you did you uh, know who um, the main guy was? The, the actual young the young lad they team up with. No. It's, it was uh, the guy who played um, Chakotay in Star Trek Voyager. No way. Yes, it is. Wow. And it's Robert Beltrain. Robert Beltrain. Beltrain. Yeah, he's he's in Night of the Comet. He's the main guy. Oh, there you go, a little bit of movie trivia. Movie yeah. trivia with Reese. Lovely movie trivia. But yeah, so, um, oh yes, no, I do. I like, um, what did I watch the other day? Oh, I watched, um, oh, what was the name of it? It was Captain, it was a Hammerhop horror film. Oh, um, uh, Captain Kodos or something like that. Sounds. Captain Kronos. Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter. <laughs> oh, it was awful. <laughs> really bad. I mean, terrible. But um, was it good bad? It was good bad. Well, the main vampire in it, and it turns out to be Wanda Veltman. Um, and for those of you who who, who watched 70s uh, British sci-fi, she was in uh, UFO, the Jerry Anderson thing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's also um, Benedict Cumberbatch's mum. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, so she was the main vampire in it. It was so bad. So bad. And it had Caroline Monroe in it as well. Who is one of she's the Bond girl in The Spy Who Loved Me, who's in the helicopter and gets blown up. Wow. And it's Caroline Monroe and she's in it as well. So God, you must be great at pub quizzes you, in the movie. <laughs> if you as so I said, if you can get it in England, I recommend it to sub into Shudder. It has so many bad and good horror movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, well we we get the horror channel. Ah uh, We get the horror channel, it's on Freeview. Nice. Uh, so in in the UK on our Freeview channel, we get the horror channel. So, and that's where I watch a lot of my drivel. <laughs> a lot of my horror drivel is, is on that one. I like to just, well, what I used to do back in the day is go to Blockbuster and get all the movies which were one pound. Yeah. Or less. Yeah. And uh, just build up a collection from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Blockbuster. Oh, all the ex-rentals. Oh, yeah. So, um, what else have we got? Class of Newcomb High, Toxic Avenger. <gasps> See, now you're talking yeah, my language. Um What's the uh, oh cost? You can no. I'm thinking of another one. This is what's the one when they put the free wrote the free cyborgs into the school, and one of them's Pam Greer. Oh, um, oh. I don't remember it, but it's, it's great. Yeah, they're all like really cheap Terminators. Um, yeah, one of them. One of like the, the gym guy's got like a rocket launcher in his arm. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
but that's I think that's like class of 1999 or, or class 2000 that might that sounds pretty familiar. something like that but yeah that's an atrocious film uh, I'll tell you what is a, a funny atrocious film it's um, Cyborg 2 Cyborg 2 Cy- you, know, you know Cyborg with John claude Van Damme yes so they did a Cyborg 2 um, and uh, it's awful uh, it has no relevant no real connection to Cyborg 1 apart from there's a flashback scene where they just shoehorn bits of um, the last film last yeah. film in yeah in a flashback scene but weirdly it stars a very young 19 year old Angelina Jolie really? yeah wow yeah it was like one of the first films she ever did it's like group pick of work in progress to be added to Facebook and, and tag still a little grey ah oh, great so yeah Keep on Ears have done a group pick of the work in progress and added it to the Facebook group and tagged nice okay cool hopefully we'll see that then um, so about I, I'm sorry, Deathclaw clubs and like that, so you can get the mini and play the game that's true but Deathclaw is also separate on our website yep and so in the two player starter set you'll get um, you'll get a Deathclaw you'll get a Deathclaw but you can also buy it separately in you a resin you can get it in resin yeah which uh, which is cool prefer resin. if you prefer the resin but the two I'll tell you what you know what the actual the PVC one's really good the PVC one's PVC, great. I've got one on my desk it's really nice it's got some really good detail on it. So um, oh, Charlie's been fiddling with one uh, for uh, for a series which we'll be putting out soon. Uh, Tale of Gamers. Oh uh, yes, you're doing your Tale of Gamers, aren't you? Which, uh, right, he yeah. is modifying a Deathclaw of his own. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Looks uh, looks very good. Yeah, he was asking me the other day about what he can do to a Rad Scorpion to fit his theme. So uh, I've given him some some ideas, some, some ideas, some suggestions. Uh, I've given him some ideas and suggestions. Whether he goes with them, I I don't know, but. Um, Yes, he's been uh, been coming over looking for bits and bobs and asking for advice, which I'm more than happy to give. Okay, yeah, so I've well, yeah, what are you, well, you up to? So I've given them. I'll put this one on the camera, so I'll take that one off. So you can see, I've given him a kind of leather skirt and a kind oh, of nice leather and bone. And now I kind of want to. Do I want to go over the, the chains with a kind of metallic? Yeah, do, do the chain silver. Um, yeah. You know, like how you did the teeth on the on the hounds. Oh, yeah, it's still one one direction. Just one, di- well, just one direction. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just do that with the silver. And obviously, you don't want to get in there. You don't need to get in there and paint every. You yeah. don't have to get in the middles. Just almost, almost like a dry brush, but you're just going over the top. But going one direction. One direction. Because obviously, you, we're going to put a wash on them at one point. Yeah. And that'll do. That'll do the rest of the. That'll do the hard work for you. Okay. Excellent. Because I'm dirtying up these bad boys now. So I've done my sponging, okay. and I'm just doing some pin washing at the moment. So I've got some brown wash, some strong tone, yep. somewhere, some strong tone. And what I'm doing, I'm just going around some uh, where our plates link, and I'm just going in there, sort of pin washing it, just to because I put a lot of brown on. I just want to bring out the detail a bit more. So what do you mean by pin washing? So pin washing is is not applying, applying wash to the whole thing. Yeah, it's literally you get your what you get you get what I'm doing in your wash okay. is I'm applying it in. So let's take it on the on the barricade. So yeah. on the barricade, I did it. See where you got the top plate, and then there's a plate underneath. Yeah. So those thin lines around there, that's pin washing. So I literally I've just gone round uh, with the wash. I mean you can do it with paint. Yeah. But I just if you do it with wash, okay. Um, you can again like with your hounds, you yeah. can build it up and build it up. I see. Um, Whereas if you did it with paint, yeah. you go wrong, you've got paint on there, you've got yeah. a lot of pigment already. So that's what a pin wash is. So I mean, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, the PVC stuff, the PVC stuff's great. Like, yeah, nothing wrong with PVC. Uh, uh, he, where is he? My hounds are all he, PVC stuff. He's PVC. Yeah. He's the PVC one. And painted up, you can't tell. You can't tell the difference. So yeah, no, the PVC stuff's, the PVC stuff's great. Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, right, so I kind of want the chain to look slightly rusty. So do I go over it? Do I do the silver first? Do the silver first, yeah, because you can go over it with um, like an orange wash. Okay, so and if there isn't orange wash, you can make shining one. silver. Uh, I did have one. Of, yeah, shining okay. silver, perfect. Okay. Yeah, that'll be that'll be perfect for it. Nice. That will be fine. Yeah, that'll be very good. What else we've got? So. One of the greatest things about the game is that you can also play solo, and unlike a lot of solo games, you still got one. Absolutely, no, that is the main, I would say the main selling point with Fallout. Yeah, it's... Is the uh, solo play and the AI is, is spot on. It is. It's, it's really good. good. Yeah, 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 so you can play it solo, um, and it plays really well, and it, it's it's like the full Fallout experience. Yeah. But in tabletop, it's really, really good. Each, um, so we've recently been working on AI modes for going over the core set, the ones that we released with the two player starter set, and um, looking over them, going over the fine tooth code and seeing how we can improve the AI recently. 
Um, James Sheehan has done a great job with that, just making sure that, uh, you know, it's not just, you know, roll on the table, oh, he's going to do this. It's trying to figure out his how he prioritizes things. So if you've got, say, a brotherhood guy and a super mutant, and they're both like AI, the super mutant's going to be more aggressive, where the brotherhood sure. person's going to be more kind of smart about where they go, getting into cover, sure. doing objectives, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's it's a really fantastic system. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's there we go. Exactly. So yeah, it's almost like um, actually, uh, who was playing Tyranids? It's a bit like their um, natural state. Tyranids used to have them. If there wasn't anything within twelve control, and they'd revert back to a their sort of like feral nature, yeah. and they could only do that thing. It's kind of like that in a way, isn't it? Okay, it's, cool. It's all like, these are the AI is almost like it's in their nature, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not in their nature for um, a super mutant to go off and start yeah, fiddling, work, with, fiddling with the terminals. Yeah. It's not in their nature. Their nature is to charge and attack. Yeah, just be and, aggressive. And, yeah, be aggressive. Whereas, yeah, other things, yes, it's in their nature to do, you know, to search and and hack into computers and stuff. So, yeah, that's a, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice addition. Yeah, it's very cool. Very good. Let me get a bit more washing going on here. So I'm just thinking of old terrible films I've watched recently. Yeah, me too. I do like a, I do like a terrible film. I just I there's yeah. something about. I remember I once rented one with a friend, and uh, we were we were both disappointed and also <laughs> elated at the same time. It was called. Um, it was called. Um, the Selena incident. Oh, never heard of that. So it's about um, it's about these convicts that get, are being transported from one uh, one jail to another, and then one is bust. And there's this there's this whole thing about how their like partners sort of um, cause a distraction. The bus gets pulled over, and they free these hostages. Right. So he throws free these um, convicts, and then suddenly aliens invade. Okay, I was gonna say up to that point, it sounded like Con Air. Yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> it basically was. And then uh, aliens, aliens invade, and it's like, oh my god, these aliens! And then you find out, sorry for spoilers, um, that these are convict aliens. They're not right. just regular aliens. No, they're, they're, they're intergalactic criminal aliens. Intergalactic criminal wow. aliens, and they're in the spaceship, and they find these aliens have been like. So it sounds like it sounds like Conair and Critters. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good analogy. Conair meets Critters. I Don't. forget was um, Jennifer Aniston. She, was she in Critters or Leprechaun? Leprechaun. She was in Leprechaun. No, I'll tell you. I, 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 do you want to know another movie fact about Critters? You know the young lad in Critters. Oh God, he's uh, he's now the helmsman in Orville. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the pilot in Orville. <laughs> that makes me feel old. <laughs> Crit Air, no matter how much said that guy should be called. Yeah, Crit Air. That's a funny film, the Crit film. But oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, Jennifer Anderson was in Leprechaun. We were actually, we were talking about this the other day. It's one of those ones where she did when she was about two or something. Yeah. And, and then, because then, then she got famous with friends. So, what they did is they repackaged a lot of the, um, the videos and stuff and DVDs and put starring Jennifer Anderson. Yeah. I think she's in it for like five minutes. Yeah, about, yeah. Yeah. But they do that, so they go, "Oh, a Jennifer Aniston film," yeah, and it, it's, it, it, it's yeah, it's not a long come poly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, let me know when you want to see this. Uh, I mean, bring it up on screen. Yeah, we're happy. Yeah, to whenever. It. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. We'll have a little chat, and then other people can have a look. Check yeah. the pics. What pics? Uh, we can't see pics. Well, I can't see pics. We only, we only see the screen in front of us. Yes. Uh, Oh, ah, oh wow. yeah, sorry. Hey, oh, wow, that's, that's incredible. a load of stuff. That's awesome. Damn. That is a load of stuff. Uh, oh, I see a sentry bot. I see one of your hounds. Is that one of your hounds in the back there? Uh, are these your hounds? Uh, n- no, no, I don't think so. Um, one oh, wait, there's one of them is. Yeah, 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 yeah there are two. There and are there's two. a death claw. And a oh, wow, you... That's a great collection. Fantastic. That's huge. That's like three That's three core boxes plus more. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's an collection. impressive collection. Elbow deep in painting, absolutely. <laughs> no, that's great. Well done, that's fantastic. Perfect, yeah, and you got the layout air in the back. I see. You know, because you, you can paint with airbrush paints as well. Yeah, I've uh, I've never tried. Oh, that. close ups, close ups. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, you got Loads the death brotherhood. Oh, that death claw looks amazing. It does look good. Doesn't it? The central ball looks great yeah. as well. 
Yeah, that looks interesting. This is great television. Oh, this I, was is just, great. I was just staring at the screen. <laughs> uh, and oh yeah, look, look, look at all the um Oh Mysterious Stranger, I see. Nice. You got two new girls, girls as well. Awesome. Is that a Mr. Handy? That's a Mr. Handy there. Nice. Cool. That's fantastic, you bunny is. Yeah, yeah. Keep up keep up the good work on those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So next week, I hope to see them. Well, not next week because I'm not here, but I hope to see them um, painted. You got to do a bit more painting. In fact, should, well, perhaps we should do we'll do a thing where we do a shared painting stream. A shared. So next time we we go live, um, and people can paint along with us. Yeah. And we can see their work in progress. Oh, that'd be cool. So uh, keep it as airbrush paints over Zenithal highlight works. I think it certainly does. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Zenithal and uh, I've only used it a few times, yeah. but it's just, it's so good. Yeah, well, I say with an airbrush, I keep on here, with an airbrush, it's even, you can smash out loads of Kirby figures like that. But obviously we're not using airbrushes because they're noisy for a start and they don't great make for great for, for great streams because they are so noisy. But you know, I've got an airbrush. I, I don't use it as much as I should really, but I do have one. And they're not as scary as you think. A lot of people go, ooh, airbrushes, ooh. Mystical creature, <laughs> mystical, mystical infernal machine. They're not really. They're really quite simple to use. Uh, basically. basically. I mean, to use them really well, a lot of people who do like the stuff on the side of trucks and I mean, yeah. that's props to them. That, that, that's amazing work. I can't do that. But to get your basic functionality out of it, they're pretty, they're not as scary as people make out. They're pretty cool. Well, I've got two air guns. I've got a decent one for like a high, decent work, and then I've got one for like just laying down color, like a twenty quid one from Amazon. Oh, I see. Yeah. Then I just swap them out. So if I just want to lay down a load of colors, who's that? You gun them on. Oh, nice. I mean, gun them do look really cool. I mean, painting giant robots is. Uh... Yeah. 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 I. I um, yes, I watch a YouTuber called um, uh, Few. Uh, Fuse Transformer reviews, and he gets sent Gundams and builds Gundams every now and again. And yeah, they're amazing. I've, I've, I've never built one. Really? I've never built one. I've never. Well, I have to go on your to-do list. I've uh, yeah, I've never been bold enough to to paint one and uh, to build one. Yeah. A few buddies has also said I've spent about a month working on 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 a knee high miniature of Cthulhu for a workmate. Knee high. Knee high. That's not a miniature anymore. No, is it? no, that's that's a summoned demon. That's not knee high. That sounds awesome. I used to have um, the game Horror Clicks. Oh, yes. Um, they had a Cthulhu, which was yay. And that's pre paint. And I used oh, to have wow. one of those. Yeah, it's really nice. I used to have one of those. Yeah. Those ones are great. Not built one, but we'll give it a try. Yeah. Death may die. I'm not sure what that means. Uh... But yeah. So, yes, no, yeah, the Gundam figures are cool. But we've kind of got our own Gundam model now. Oh, we do. <laughs> With Liberty Prime. Liberty Prime. I mean, Liberty Prime is a pretty big model. Uh, yeah, 100 big. mil? 100 mil? No. 100 mil base. Oh, 100 mil, 180 mil base. 180 mil base. Yes. It's a big base. It's a dinner plate. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big model. It's actually taller than a knight from um, a well-known miniatures company. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's taller. Not by much, but it is bigger. Yeah, bigger is better. Obviously, bigger is always better. Yes, yeah, so yeah, 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 Limited Prime. I can't wait to go to one of them. But I've been very good and I've let all the people in real world have them first before I bought mine. So it was so generous. I, right? I thought so. It's so giving. Right? Yes, I am so giving. I thought, you know, let them, they can all have them first. Yeah, but I will get one. I will have a Liberty Prime because it's a lovely, lovely model. We had one in the office, didn't we? Oh, yeah. And, um, and we had one at QuakeCon and I was running around with it. That was it. Showing yeah. people. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Because that's when we released it, wasn't it? Yep. We that's... released it at QuakeCon. Uh, Beth yeah, the Bethesda thing. Oh, that's nice. nice. I've, got, I've gone over this guy in, in my metallic and it's look, he's looking... Sweet, he looks a bit like Bane at the moment. He does look a bit like Bane. He looks a bit like Bane. I'll put that guy on camera, so... Uh... Yeah, yeah, stick him on. Because I'm doing quite boring basic stuff, but yours, you know, you're doing lots of detail work and stuff. So, so yeah, get him on the, on the get him on close up cam. This is from that autofocus. There we go. Er, oop. Here we go. 
Yeah. So yeah, Abu Saro Obi has said uh, Liberty Prime. That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. Um, it's probably on the website, uh, but we might be able to get a picture up in the stream somehow uh, on the screen. But yeah, no, it's a lovely. It's, you know, it's got the big nuke in its hand. It's a good point. Uh, Gribble says Miss Liberty Prime arrived today along with translucent models. Mm. Looking at yeah, yeah, I, and it goes together. Gribble, it goes together beautifully. Yeah. The connection, you don't need to pin it. Oh, you do not need to pin it. Um, the connection points are so deep and crisp and even. Yeah. I know it sounds like snow, but oh, it's brilliant. Really good. Yeah, really, really smart. It's like a, it's a, it's a lovely model. It's well, very well put together. Um, I knew he would be yeah, big, but in person it's huge. Yeah. Yeah, I knew he would be big, in person it's huge. It is. It's it's a it's a beast. It is very cool. I almost want to do a Russian one. <laughs> Pin like yeah, yeah, on, on his hat. Or the star. I, if I had one, I'd put like stars and stripes on the helmet. Oh, I see. Uh, like the film Hardware. We've seen Hardware. I've Talking seen about hardware. bad, 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 bad sci-fi. Yeah. So you know, when she paints him up and he's got the stars and bars on the on the helmet, I'd probably do that. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Seriously, it doesn't need pinning at all. Just get you some some good strong, good strong super glue, and that bad boy will not fall apart. I'm getting minimal work done right now as I look all this stuff up. <laughs> Nor are we. <laughs> I mean, technically, we're working. This is this kind of work. I mean, we ain't paid for this, right? Yeah. H. 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 Yes, we are. Don't tell people on the stream because they get, they get oh, upset that we get to paint miniatures for, for a couple of hours a week. Shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. It's to be our secret. Yeah, just you, us, and everyone else in... In Twitch chat. In Twitch chat. And the rest of the planet. There you go. Are you doing change still, yeah? I'm doing, yeah nice, doing nice, the, nice. Cool. Doing my chains. Get your chains done. And you'll be able to whack a wash. The good thing is, once you have your chains done, and you'll be able, your claws will be done on your hounds. They'll be dry, and then you'll be able to wash them all together, wash them all at once, and you'll see the magic happen. The magic, liquid talent. The liquid talent will happen. But no, I, I oh, and yeah, um, the army painted washes so much better. The, well, I personally think they are the best washes out there in the market. You've just got more control over them because they're they're not as they're not as watery. Can, yeah, they're, I noticed that they're a bit thicker than... A um, bit thicker than uh, than others, other paint ranges. Uh, not saying that the other paint ranges aren't bad, but personally, because you can control them a bit more, I just think they're... For me, they suit me better. They suit my style of painting better. And because you can just... Um, yeah, just move it move it about a bit. Give it, give it a little jiggy. Give it, yeah, just give it a little bit, you know. More control, I think, you know, in the end of the day, it's just, just more control. So I'm going to paint the pipes on these things. I'm going to paint them black like hydraulic cables. Ooh. Again, I'm painting them black. A because they look like hydraulic cables, and B then I don't because I don't have to highlight them. Then win-win. Win. It's all about the winning. All about that. But these guys are actually not far off being done. You know. I put pics on, on my on my own Facebook page and tag Modifius Painting. I can always remove it after if you like off being my brand. What size it well against Prime with his nukes? Oh, I'm sure someone will find it. We'll have a look. I'm I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued. If not, I'll go and look a look at it tonight when I go home. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely, like uh, whenever you whenever you uh, you know Elder Scrolls, Fallout, whatever you know, post it, tag it to us, and we'll have a look at it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know we love seeing what you've done with it as well as you know. Well, it's nice. I mean, I follow a lot of um, painting forums and, well, not so much forums, but painting groups on Facebook and stuff. It's nice to get um, to see the people working on the um, the Fallout minis. Actually, you know, you, they crop up because you, you know, obviously you see a lot of miniatures from other other brands, but then they, these turn up. You're like, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see. They are. It's also everyone has their own particular painting method, and it's nice to see how, exactly like, right. Kind yeah, of... yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, you know. Other skills are kind of culminated. Yeah, you know, like I say, I mean, I'm, this is in no way the best way to paint miniatures. This is my way. You know, it's the way I do it. It's the way I do it to get them done and get them on the table. You know, I wouldn't enter these into a competition. Um, but, you know, if I wanted to get playing with them this weekend, this would be absolutely fine. Maybe no problem. 
I'm, I'm worried now. I keep looking at the door thinking we're going to get someone coming in yeah, with another just, vile liquid that we have to endure. Endure was the right word. Yeah, Oof. yeah, yeah. You didn't have to chug one. Uh, I did. I drank it. I drank half a can before I came in here. It's probably why I'm so wired. Oof. It was like... Oh, I started to get feeling back in my mouth now. <laughs> How like, long was that taken? It was like about half hour. About half an hour. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Obi says it's, it's awesome you guys get to pay for work especially while take, talking to the fans I can't be mad I get paid to sit in an archive it's like Indiana Jones with more reading and less handsome adventuring <laughs> <laughs> top men <laughs> is it being handled by top men <laughs> is that what it is <coughs> hmm. I mean yeah right that's cool so I'm obviously we, this is two hours out of 40 we get to do this yeah. <laughs> but it is fun and I, I'm very uh, to be fair uh, in all honesty, I'm, I'm deeply appreciative that I get to do this. Yeah, it's uh, a it's a great perk of working here. It really is. Oh, you didn't finish with all your guys. Uh, yeah. What are, we, what are you going to do next week? I'm not here next week. Oh yeah. What are you going to do the week after? I play you. Oh, we fight. I've got this guy to do from scratch, though. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've, okay. I've, 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 I've got the bases to do as well. That's true. Got Don't forget, I've got bases. I've to do. also got bases. You have also got bases. Okay. So do. tell me about this hound wash I need to do for hound wash. <laughs> you make nothing like a hound wash, right? You need some strong tone, my friend. Strong tone. And you need to give it a damn fine shake. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cute buddy says, my work is in a call center, taking complaint calls. Um, enough said. Yeah, I've, I've done the... Um... Oh, thank you for saying nice Ghostbusters. <laughs> it is a nice tone. Tesco, 10 pound. <laughs> um, Hi, Alva. Yeah, I, I didn't, I've not done that with the taking complaints, but I've done the phone people up and try to sell them something they don't want. Ooh. That's hard. That is hard. That's hard. You've got to have some. You've got to be completely desensitized to the world for that. It's hard work. I, I did it for a couple of months. I used to do e uh e sales, which was the same thing. But I used to be one of those people that popped up in the little text box and be like, "Hey, would you like to buy this today? Buy really? this. Buy wow. this." Uh, it was. Um, it was. Wasn't, I was apparently very good at it, but it's, it was one of those jobs where I bet it was soul destroying. Oh, it? it's it's yeah. You go home at the end of the day and you're just like, oh, what have I actually done? Yeah, I've just cheated people out of their money. Oh, excuse me, I do apologise. I've just massively yawned. <laughs> wow, I think the uh, mo- I think the mox is wearing yeah. off. <laughs> Don't bring any more. No. Uh, right, so I've got my strong tone. I've given it a good shake. Now as well as- oh, so we are. So next week's a break. Next week's and then a break. it is painting with me and you. Okay, and then we're back to battle. Then- so that's fine. So we've okay. still, I've still got bass to do. Still got him to do. So. So what am I doing with the strong? I'm just going over the you teeth. You are slapping it all over the teeth. Like really, get really load your brush. Okay. Yep. That's Super it. Loaded. And then just whack it over it. Just that's it. Just now more, more. No, more, more wash. More, okay. more wash. You just that's it. There you go. Drown it. Oh, the silver's got stuck. I don't want to squeeze it. Just go. The silver will go and go all over our lovely, our lovely table from Geek and Son. <laughs> You know, we've got this protective covering down. Yeah. But I'm not doing any chopping this week. So <laughs> that was fine. I did all my chopping last week and in the week to to finish up. Yeah, there we go. Look, it went poof. Look at that. Ridiculous. <laughs> I don't even, I don't, don't, don't need any of that. Right, so I'm going over the claws as well. Is that correct, right? Yep. Yeah. Is there any of much on the claws? That's it. No, that's fine. It's fine. Because obviously the dark wash will just stay, you know, because it's all dark anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll go over and it will dry off and it'll be lovely. Uh, right, well, uh, anyway, some quick, I mean, there were a few cans and more bits to be spent. Dude, it's got like 15% of your sh- daily sugar in one can. It doesn't even taste sweet. Yes. <laughs> no. <sighs> Live from Essen. <laughs> um, I believe our boss, Chris, is doing something from Essen, like a live. I believe he is definitely doing something. Yeah, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but he is doing something live. But um, that'll be interesting and very noisy. Uh, what the, uh, uh, um, Olver is asking what we're painting. So I'm painting up my uh, construction machine themed Brotherhood of Steel. And Jono's painting up his... My hybrid mutant. Hybrid mutant, super mutant. So FR, let's give you a little look see. So I've got my sort of toxic super mutant hounds over here. So I've given them a kind of like a, uh, I gave them a xenthal um, highlight. highlight. 
And then I went over that in just red wash multiple times. And now I'm just highlighting. And what do you say, multiple? 10? Maybe 10 times, yeah. maybe even more. Maybe even more. Um, yeah. Then I've just painted on teeth and claws. I'm just going over that with a really strong wash. So it kind of brings it out. So I've done that for both of them. Yeah, the reds come out really well. I was, when I put on my first layer, it came out kind of strawberry color. And I was like, oh, Reese, I don't want, I don't yeah, want. It's gone, it's gone I, funny. I, I don't want pink dogs. Nothing wrong with pink. I just, it just wasn't thematic with my army. It's just not what you wanted. And then I've got my, my, my boomer boys. who I've just given a nice chain undercoat. So I can um, put that there, there we go. So I did Xenothor on these guys as well. And built them up with like a purple wash. Um, uh, you need some edge highlighting or some smooth transition there. Speaking uh, of, uh, okay, uh, here was a different guest in the future episode. Yeah, we might get some future ones um, for the RPG soon. Uh, <laughs> once Charlie recovers from getting hit by a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> the official call up book uh, for recipes for Nuka Cola and get syrup from scratch. That's really cool. Uh, I don't think I want to know. Uh, I mean, I don't uh, think I want to know about the Nuka Cola cookbook. That sounds like it could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, his right arm's a lot. I mean, these guys have kind of, you know, you know, they blow themselves up. They do blow themselves up. I mean, he's not, he's not a pretty boy. He's, uh, he gets down to business, and his business is just, well, his business is going boom. His business is going boom, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. Reese has been working on this lovely barrier here. Which, as you can see, he's put loads of detail in with a sponge. He's made it look all rusted and stuff. Uh, and I've done this. Um, I'll show you these in a minute. I'm doing. I'm doing to do the same on my brotherhood now. Uh, but I'm just going over at the moment and just uh, defining him a little bit with some silver, so it looks like the paint's tripped off in places. And where it's gone a bit too dark, it's, it's just bringing it back and showing the detail a bit more. Because you can overdo it, and when you do overdo it, this is it's a good way of of bringing it back. Yeah. Uh, Gribble, I'm running a 24 hour RPG session later in the game yeah. based on D and D. Not for one, unfortunately. Uh, but so plans are real. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you were looking for inspiration, you could always purchase the Fallout Wasteland RPG, which has some scenarios written inside it. Yeah, and all your character classes and yeah, and everything. So I'm sure there'll be an easy way of transitioning that over. Uh, everything is flambe. Yes, I did freehand the stripes. They were freehanded. Um, yeah, we never really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're looking great. Oof. Yeah, they were freehand. Now he's going to do five more of these. I have got to do five more of those, really. And all the other scenery we're using. <laughs> no, we're going to be using the stuff in, from the studio. Oh yeah, the lovely studio stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'd be nice. I don't get to. I don't often get to play with the studio models. Well, I don't think anyone else will be able to use them. <laughs> We've had some accidents recently. Um, He's got the Fallout one as well. So. Bpar Junior on Instagram. Wow, that looks amazing. Oh, wowzers! That seems I love those um, pylon pylons. Yeah, they're rad. Nice one. How do you store it? Uh, personally. Um, I get cheap shelving units, yeah, from like IKEA or, or something like that, and 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 just put that, put it on there. I just use cheap storing, you know, uh, or make it collapse, you make it so you can lay it flat, or you know, is that Mama Murphy? Nice, and oh, that is cool, very cool. Yeah, yeah. those pylons are great. Yeah, they're really good. You I must like. construct additional pylons. Yes, all the pylons. Um. Right, so. Yeah, good. No, I love that number, Murphy. That's excellent. Love seeing your work, guys. Really do. Yeah. Really do. It's um, it's one of the bits about the hobby I like. I love seeing what other people do. You know, because it gives you inspiration and goes. It does. Oh. It, it does give me inspiration actually. If, the problem is, it gives me too much inspiration. You go, oh, I want to do that now, and that's why I end up with like a house full of stuff I'm not not, not touched. That's the problem. Uh. But no, I do. I love seeing what other people do with with their minis. It's um. Yeah, you know, it's the first thing I do. If ever I go to a game shop, the first thing I do is have a look at their cabinets. 
Yeah. First thing I do. Well, I looked for the biggest thing in the shop. So whenever I work into some game stores, it's like... Well, when, when I went in my game store, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if you got... Uh, Bibar... Bibar... Bibars? Bibars. That sounds right. Uh, yeah, if you um, if you have any painted minis, if you go to the Modifius Facebook page and you just uh, at Modifius or hashtag Modifius. Um, Modifius painting. Modifius painting. If you want to enter the painting competition, it's Modifius, hashtag Modifius painting. But if you just want to show off your stuff as well. Yeah. If, on Instagram as well, if you tag Modifius in it, we'll be able to post that up as well. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, right, so, so I think the metallic chains of... Well, I want to make my chains look rusty. I want to have rusty chains. Rusty chains. Sounds like a wrestler from the 80s. <laughs> rusty, rusty chains. Rusty chains. Oh, that's a good wrestler name. It is, isn't it? It's Rusty Chains fighting uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. <laughs> or beautiful Steven. Uh, Amer Americans, Americans won't get Big Daddy. They won't know. Right, so Rusty Chains. Okay, so we you need to um you need you need to do your brown wash first brown wash. do your brown wash all over it so Oops. cover the whole chain it's a bit like we did with the teeth strong tone that'll do okay. let's go go all over that with your wash or mid brown I've got a mid brown mid brown oh. yeah so I've just popped one of my brotherhood in Oops. the close up just to see what I've been doing so it was um, I went over with the sponge and dirtied him up a bit and chipped him up a bit and then I've gone what I've done I've gone back in with the silver and then just brought out some of the highlights but I thought instead of highlighting it in, in lighter yellow I've actually highlighted it with the silver because obviously naturally scrape marks will appear on the, on the yeah. lighter on the raised areas so I'm not sure if he's, in, he's come up on the old uh, close up cam there we go yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Is. so he looks he's looking a little bit um, a little more chipped up now a little bit worse worse away if I tip him back a bit right so oh, that's you better. might see a little bit more of the, the detail on there Uh is he going to move? Is he moving? Hello? Where are we going, mate? There we go. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there we go. And then what I'll do, if it's gone a little bit too bright on the silver, I'll just run back in there with um, a brown wash just to knock it back a little bit more. Okay. Just give you more defined features. So yeah, it's kind of like freshly dug out the ground kind of kind of armour. <laughs> Re-excavated. Re-excavated, -ex re yeah. Yes. Someone's just slapping the wash on this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go all over it. And then once that dries, what, you, what we will do, we'll add a little bit of, as I think um, Cute Bunny said, maybe add some red to the strong tone. But we'll do that afterwards. We'll okay. go in. We'll perhaps get a bit of red in it and then we'll put a little bit of yellow paint in it just to make it a little bit orangey. Sounds good. And we'll just, yeah. And then that will give you like a your rusty wash as well. And it doesn't matter if it goes in the skin as well. No, of course it doesn't. Because do, the skin's dark already. Okay. And it will, it will um, wash away. It will move. Let me know a couple to use. Tons might take a while. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I can't see those clamps. The clamps about. I'll give you the clamps from future armor. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's all I've been give saying. Me the clamps. That's all I've been saying. Give me the clamps. He's actually used yellow, wasn't he, as well? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the idea. I think that's what started the inspiration. And then we just ran with it. You've got to give him the clamps. I mean, you've got to give him the clamps. But I'm fortunate that you've actually written them a little profile, haven't you? So when I do the game, you've kind of given them a profile for the clamps, haven't you? Oh, Is yeah, the, right? cl the clamps have a, so... You've given them a profile, haven't you? Is that right? Well, I mean, I've given them stats. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so in the Automatron set, uh, set, which is coming out a bit later, um, auto some Automatrons have uh, the ability to use clamps. And so we decided, why not preview it a bit early? Nice. So it's got some modified clamps for you to use. Modified clamps. Which should be uh, super fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, that's like a... So yeah, so people are going to be getting a little bit of a preview of, yeah. the, of the rules there for that's in the, is that in the, the, the deck. That would be in, in the, the Automatron's deck. The mecha, yes. the, yeah, the Automatron deck that's coming out. So cool. Nice. Uh, it's all about previewing in the model. It's all about previews. It's all about yeah. previews. Absolutely. Oh. Right, so wait for that to dry uh, or maybe put well as you do still doing brown you can do your leather do, do, your, do your leather in your bone do my leather yeah do your leather in the bone yeah, Go, yeah, yeah. does mid brown again you've stated the, you've stated the clamps we need those now please <laughs> they're coming they're coming they're coming they're a thing 
They are. I mean, we'll have pseudo stats on them because these are brotherhood clamps. These aren't. These are brotherhood clamps. They're, yeah, yeah. they're not automatron clamps. They're just very similar. These are specialist clamps for our specialist scenario. Aren't they? Yes. But um, in the Mechatron deck, they will. They, they do have the Mechatron. Uh, a Tortron deck. They there are stats for clamps. Yep. So, uh, who wins a fight? A Brotherhood of Steel soldier in power out a squad of Space Marines. So, a s ooh, it's a question for you, Reese. I, uh, I'm, st I'm still going to go with the Space Marines, to be fair, because they are genetically engineered superhuman uh, warriors bred for a sole purpose. Whereas Brotherhood of Steel are a bunch of soldiers that have to find some old tech. I mean, that's a fair point. That's a fair, <laughs> you know, point. They're standard humans still. Trained, but still standard. So I'm going to go Space Marine, but only on stats. You know, only, and, you know, only on the on paper. Yeah, on paper, yeah. that's what they're bred to do. That's, that's that's in their it's in their nature. They, they you know they're a bit like Terminators. They know every weak point. Oh, hello. Oh wow. Oh, oh nice. The guy there, the see through ones. That's cool, man. They look rad, man. Yeah. Yeah, they look really good. Love them. Nice one, Oliver. Yeah, nice one, Oliver. They look cool. They're good models, actually. I want to. I'm thinking of getting picking because we'll have them at Essen. So I'm thinking of um, maybe grabbing a set as well because you know they're see through. Which we guess what that means. You see, I have to paint. Them. It means I don't have to paint them. <laughs> <laughs> but what I might do, I've just picked up because it, it, it's, it's Halloween season, guys. It is. So you know all your cheap shops, all your Dollar Trees in America, and and then your Pounder and your Dollar Armors, and um, yeah. Oh, what's it called? Yeah, something Halloween, whatever it's called. They have these Halloween pop-up shops, don't they? Oh yeah. Um. Uh, so you can get cheap Halloween stuff. So I've just picked up some um, flickering tea lights. Oh yeah. Uh, and of course they come on round bases. Ooh. Oh, that looks rad! I love I it. Like the face, that. the oh, visor, the goggles, great. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Good work. That's, that's the that's the range nice. of power I was talking about. Earlier. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice like... setting. I like the. Um, it look, kind of looks like a copper roof in the background. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hold on, Sun Queen. What would you rather want? One Space Marine-sized Gretchen or a hundred Gretchen-sized Space Marines? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, personally, what would I... Um, I'd go with the Marine-sized Gretchen, I think. Marine-sized Gretchen. Because I could run away from it. Yep. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I could outrun a marine sized Gretchen for a while anyway. So, yeah, I don't think 100 Gretchen sized space marines. They would still be quite formidable. Oh, yeah, that would be, um, be are, terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would still be quite formidable. Do I want to use the same wash to go over the bone plate? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the brown wash as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brown wash uh, cures, cures all sins. Brown wash it is. Yeah. It'll cure. Cure what ails you. It's 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 the it's the good stuff. Yep, yeah, absolutely go over it. Uh, <laughs> it will probably run away from me. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Alid. <laughs> so you know, so we'll have to put we'll have to put up with that day in, day out, that kind of abuse. Day in, day out. That's so mean. I know, right? I need to I need to make a tie second right head so I can use XO one spare heads. Good idea. Nice, nice, nice. It's a magnet that has a second Yeah, no, no, oh, that's really cool. Uh, my Twitter shows as either Optic Nerve or Minecrafters910. Hey, I think, I think the guys next door are on it. Awesome stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, that's like brilliant. That was really cool. I'd love to see all this sort of stuff. But yeah, those glowing ghouls, they're brilliant. They're absolutely excellent. Quite like the courses as well, the sort of invisible courses. Yeah. They're really cool. Uh, so we'll have those at um, we'll have those at Essen, and I believe in the same weekend. If you can't make it to Essen, same weekend we'll have them on the website as well. That's true. Because we have them every time we take them to an event, we put them on the website. So if people can't get to the site of the event, yeah, they can still get them. So, so they'll be on the website. Want to have yeah. Them. yeah, yeah. So they'll be on the website again uh, next weekend, which will be awesome, source. Uh... And of course, yeah, we'll have a lot of the director, the director retail stuff. Um, it's no. Enclave there. I'll plan for that. Enclave. Enclave. I mean, we're looking at lots of things at the moment. There's, yeah, yeah. There's a load of good um, Fallout factions, which you know we could go to. So, Enclave's you know it's a possibility. Yep, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. 
is all we can say about that. <laughs> Without, if, if, if we want to continue to do this as our job. <laughs> NDAs and all that. But, um, yes. You oh, know, wow. That's a big ass Cthulhu. That's a big, gribbly creature. What range is that for? Is that for dusk? <laughs> Oh yeah, so, yeah. So um, that's that's big. Is that's, that's we great. need a banana for scale, I think. But um, <laughs> but bananas are different sizes. There's a telephone in the background. <laughs> you can see how big that is. Is that at work? Is or is that in your office? Is that at home? Because you know, I'm sure your colleagues just love you bringing in your giant Cthulhu model. <laughs> Do you bring it in every day? Yeah. Nothing, to, nothing <laughs> just, to see. Nothing to see here. Just an effigy of an old one. Move along. Right. Oh, the, the room is for scale. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. So it's the Cthulhu death mate. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is cool. Yeah, that is a nice model. Um, I'd like to see it up uh, up against the uh, a Liberty Prime. A Liberty Prime. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. With his big nuke in his hand. Yeah, I could show the one I painted. Uh, have you painted Barry as well? But nice. Um, right, you said to me last week, Reese, that you helped show me paint some glowing eyes. Glowing eye. eyes, all right. We've yes. got fifteen minutes. We've got left. fifteen minutes. You want a fifteen minute glowing eye tutorial? Yeah, glowing eye tutorial. All right, let's do that then. Let me just okay. finish off a bit of silver on these legs. Yep. Do, 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 do. Tra la 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 la. Dun dun dun. Bosh bosh bosh. There we go. And that's it. Official painting. Actually, uh, so put on some, get some of that snake scales paint snake on your palette. Is that what, what, what color uh, is that? That is, they're both washers. Right, so I'm, I'm nicking some of your wash. Okay, uh, I think they're. And I'm going to put, I'm just putting it on his leather cap. Because I painted his cap uh, brown, so I'm just putting it on there. And that gives him that kind of. Um, nice. Cosmonaut yeah. kind of space cap kind of thing. And then I'm just going to, while, while it's there, and that's a bit of. Sort of fleshy one. I'm going to put it on some of these guys' faces just to bring out their details and their faces. But I'm using your wash because it's because it's there. It's there. <laughs> it's not wasteful. Yeah, so I don't need a lot of this. No, you don't need a lot of that, right? Okay, so this is near yeah, now. With now, this is going to be dry brushing, but it's going to be fine dry brushing. Okay. So you need a, a brush that you don't mind destroying. So use that that brush there because it's already a bit flayed out. Okay. Get to keep putting your paint, give it a good old mix up in your paint. That's it. So pop it on the side of your palette, pull it on the side of your palette, yeah. get, get it into the bristles. You really want to get it okay. into the bristles. That's, it. Really, okay. That's it. Okay, cool. And then wipe as much of it off as you can. Okay. I think I've got all of it. Yeah, right. Okay. I may have to do this one. Okay. Start you off. So what the now so what you need to do, yep. it's a bit like we so a bit like what you did with the washes, we worked down okay. in colour. We went from bright down. This way we're going to go from dark to light. And all you're going to do is, you, the area you want to do is you just want to, it's dry brushing, but it's almost, it's kind of painting with, with a dry brush. Okay. So you're just flicking it in the area and then you do it again and, get, and boom, 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 and you just, you just build it up and it will, it will go, try and go, start from quite a wide range. So if it was on a human eye, so we'll go from around here. Oh, I see. So it and gets then, dark, and, and then, and then, as you go, as you put more coats on, yeah, go, go closer and closer and closer. I see. And the idea is then that'll give you kind of like a radiated light. Okay, cool. But it will take a while because you're doing, using quite a paint that's not got a lot of pigment on it. Okay, uh, on quite a dark color. So you're going to have to do about three or four at least to bring that up. And then once that's done, you'll get like the brightest one of these, yeah. and just do a dot in the middle, and, okay. like, and it'll look like it's. Um, Hopefully, it'll look like it's glowing. So, yeah, give it a go. But their eyes aren't that glowy. They're not. They're not that. It's not like they're like that. The dogs there because they're like they're all scrunched up, yeah, aren't they? Because yeah. they're all just like muscle and hatred, aren't they? So, like a wasp, just anger, <laughs> just, <laughs> just anger. Yeah, they are personified like, anger. They are. God, I hate wasps. Yeah, yeah they are pointless things. Absolutely pointless. Bees, I love a bee. Yeah, but wasps, no, thank you. Don't like a wasp. Dirty wasps. Right. Oh, I was doing that. I am going to get a switch of a brush. I'm gonna think I need a I need a good mid grey. Mid grey? Like a mid grey colour. What's that? Stone That's a brush golem? Of stone. Oh, a bit a little bit darker than that. Oh, we've got dungeon grey. Dungeon grey? Oh, oh yes, that'll do. That's good. 
Not to, no, I'm trying to find your pics, sorry, not coming up for me with a tag, can't see them on your Twitter. Ah, we will see them, Optin, though, but they will find them. Uh, my uh, my favourite is Excavator Power Armor or one with Frank Oregon wears. Yeah, Frank Oregon Yeah, Frank Oregon armor. Yeah, armor. Yeah, armor it is proper, pro- proper decent. I like that. That's kind of just fused to him. It's just, you know. Yeah, it's good stuff. That's all horrible Oregon. So I'm going to give try. Well, I'm, you know, we've got like a couple of minutes. I'm just going to quickly do some uh, basing up on these bad boys. I know I've got the guns to do still, but um, they will come. I'll do those last, the guns. Going to get some base coats on the on the bases. And I'm going with grey because I'm, because the yellow is a warm colour. Oh hello, hey! Oh, he's cool. He's oh, a new. Nice. That's a new guy, isn't it? Isn't that the one we just? Is that the guy, the guy you get with dog meat? Uh, the guy you with yes, dog meat? I yeah. think that's the uh, uh, X01. X, yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. That is rad. Really cool. I like that. Yeah, I love power. I love the Fallout power arm. I think it's great. I think it's because the helmets look a bit like Storm Trooper helmets. That helps. That does help. But no, I think I think that yeah, I love I love the um, the fact you can find it buried in ground and in the ground and stuff. I think it's very cool. I like seeing there's lots of people who do the cosplay got cosplay suits of it as well. Oh yeah, they definitely some of those cosplays are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah they're really good. But yeah, quick again, but yeah, I'm going for grey on my basing. A again to give it that kind of quarry kind of you know building site but also greys are quite a cool colour and because I've painted them yellow that's quite a warm colour yeah so you'll get a bit of a contrast between you know they, they, the miniatures should stand out more and yeah. not blend into the the basing so that's why I'm going to do that's why I'm going to do grey basing I mean obviously there's bits of wood on there and stuff and I'll, and I'll paint those brown but the main bulk will be grey They'll just make the they just make the models pop a bit more. But oh, yeah, I mean, I've, enjoyed, I've enjoyed doing this. This is great, man. Yeah, this, is, this is this is cool. Now you're getting all your with your glowing bits. Oh, this one's kind of coming out. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's probably not quite. You know, it's okay though because if it goes doesn't what well, you can again, you can chuck a green wash on it, and it'll just knock it all back. Ah. And still shade and then shade it. That's why you want. That's why you want to go with that as your final dot. Yeah. Because you whack a green wash in it, or just drag it all back a bit. Yeah. Yeah. If I last up, I'm not sure I'd ever leave home in anything else. <laughs> you raise a good mm, point. I think. You, mm, I, mm, yes. I think you may um, not. I don't think work would agree. Oh yeah. Yeah, difficult to find space for, right? Yeah. But I remember there was a story in America once about a, a lady who um, she got called up for jury service and she went in a Starfleet uniform because she wears a Starfleet uniform all the time because Starfleet um, speaks to her. The values of Starfleet speak to her values. So she wears a Starfleet uniform. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the judge was like, uh, no. And then again, so then that whole thing became a little bit more popular than the actual case she was on. Yeah. Uh, and in the end it was like no no it's fine she can wear it that's quite good so let's do that yeah so yeah power armor I think it'd be be cosplay I could do as well because I'm chunky so I can get away with chunky cosplay yeah I mean power armor power armor hides all (laughs) that'd be Frank Horrigan there you go Frank Horrigan power armor that'd be cool it certainly does especially on models I mean, you only have to paint four of them you see but then again I'm painting four and you've only got like what five in yours I've only got five yeah, yeah so we're, we're kind of be pretty evenly matched you know pretty even I mean you say that but I mean you see suiciders are great but they're also terrible yeah because <laughs> once they, they do their thing they're gone and there's also the chance so whenever you shoot one of my guys there's a chance he just blows up then and there <laughs> Oh wow, optic nerve! That is oh nice. Oh, no, that's proper fleshy. I like that. That's super fleshy. Oh, that's terrifying. You've done the teeth really well. Right. Yeah, that's good. Hang on, uh, no links. Uh, but I'm just going to take care of it, guys. And you see how I paint my own try try to turn it all the tags of the competition. I think we can show that. Uh, excuse me. We all saw recently at the end of the last Fallout RPG. Oh, what with my cosplay? <laughs> with my big, my big robot arm, oh, yeah. which is there, it's up there, it's still here, it's still in the, it's still in the, in the office. 
Lumber. Still lives there. He still lives. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do with a cardboard tube and a coat hanger. <laughs> I love doing that. That was great fun doing the little cosplay thing. I thought that was great. Okay, I think I've got the. I don't fit into a vault. The glowing eyes. Nice. Yeah, that's wicked. And then just a little dot. In the I would middle. do a dot in the middle of them. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a super fine brush. Yeah, no, you're not. Just bring a bring. Yeah, you would need a different brush, but you don't need super fine. You just bring it to a point. Okay, so I need poisonous cloud next. Okay, yeah, poisonous push. clown. Poisonous clown. Clown. Poisonous clown. Is it a cloud? Isn't it? It is cloud. Oh, but, okay. You know. I say things like that. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought I'd wandered into another reality. Then <laughs> poisonous clown. <laughs> poisonous clown. What the hell? Yeah. There you go. So I'm going to let them dry off for a bit. Right, my chains are looking slightly more rusty. I think yeah. I have to do another coat of it. Yeah, or... I, I would go, I would, so I would leave the bone. Okay. I think the bone's fine. It, well, what you could do with the bone is put like a little brown Ooh, wash that's on. That's not mixed enough. You could put brown wash on the on the bone. Yeah. Just to give it a bit more depth. And the chain, yeah, I, the chain, you could put the flesh wash over it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the flesh wash would be fine because the, well, the flesh wash is orangey. Okay. So that would be fine. That would be fine and dandy, as they say. So I'll put these on there for now. I'll just do a little close-up of these. Uh, obviously, don't judge the bases. They've just got a base coat. So there we go. I'll put those on the close cam and hopefully people can see what I've been up to. Doing that with my... It's all dry brushing, sponging and washing. And then kind of going over the edges, uh, the highlights, where we naturally would highlight. I've done it in silver to... Um, Sort of show a bit of chipping, really. Uh, let's do, oh, I know, let's, you can't quite see. Let's bring that forward. Uh, uh, it might be, that might be better. Is that better? I don't know. But yeah, we'll get we'll get some shots up as well. We'll stick them on our Facebook page. Um, and yeah, so the bases have just been based in grey. They will get a wash of of black uh, and a bit of a dry brush, and then I'll pick out all the wood and. Paint that as well. Ah, thanks, Gribble. Thank you very much. You're very kind. So they do look. Yeah, the camera's not the greatest fan of them. They do look a little better in close up. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with them. I think they've come up all right. I'm quite pleased with that. I think as a theme. I think as a theme. Once they're all done, oh, they're gonna and with their little bit of scenery, I think they're going to look pretty sweet. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah. I might see. I might see. I might have to try and get some other colours on them. Just to, you know, off, just give them a little bit more of a focus than the yellow. So I'm finding that this this colour in particular is, is not... Is it a bit watery? It's quite watery. Okay. So, well, that's all right. 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 Right, so I've just been working on my hounds. I've been giving them... Yep, show us some of your eyes. Some spooky eyes. Some spooky eyes. I forgot we had the really close up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> If it doesn't yeah, come do the thing, do the thing where it zooms. Uh, the 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 black stripes were freehand. Uh, they were free, but but the way I did it, I did it with a very thin black, so you get better flow, better control. So can, it's um, getting there. There we go. It's kind of working. So hold good it. Go. You have to hold it. There we go. Should I tap it? Will that work? I oh, know it's 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 working on here, so it'll it'll focus. Oh, yeah. oh, hello. oh wait, 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 hello, hey, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and the teeth are kind of yeah. That looks wicked, man. Nice. Looks a bit more, a bit more vicious now. Yeah, yeah. So we have, well, we're pretty much done. Yeah. Time has flown by yet again. <laughs> Although I've got a lot more painted this week than I did last week. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <I've> got, uh... <laughs> we're, we've, we've picked up the pace a bit, yeah. I think. But uh, yeah, time has flown by. So um, that's kind of us for today. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're not here next week. Um, not next week. Yeah. Sadly, I'm in Germany, and you'll be here, but you'll be, I'll doing, be here, but I'll you'll be, be doing other things. You'll be doing, doing store, doing, 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 your, stuff. doing your proper job. Yeah. Um, I'll be in Germany. So yes, uh, guys, um, please come and see me at Essen. Come and say hi. Uh, we'd love to meet you guys in person. And, yeah. And 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 chat chat to you. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks to finish off our. Um, and also, hopefully, you'll have your hammer ready by then. Oh, he'll be ready. Awesome. So, you better work on him. Yep. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I've been Reese. I've been Jono. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. Carry on painting and um, just get those pictures up. We want to see yep. those pictures as well. Thanks for joining thanks, us, guys. Thanks for joining us, guys. Take care. See you soon. See you soon. See you. Bye.